Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. <laughs> oh. We live? Hello. Hey. Fuck y'all, we 17 minutes late. This motherfucker, D just got here. She oh. fucking everything up, man. <laughs> D always yeah, fucking right. up. <laughs> yeah, right. Zo had his new outfit on, so we was taking pictures in it and shit. That motherfucker fresh. What's your band name? Who made that? Ram Omar, Ra NYC. R Ram Omar, how, how, the they, I, how they get to his shit? They go to his website. Uh, I think it's... Uh, what is this shit? You don't know the nigga website and he be blessing you? Hey, man. That's some dope shit. That jacket dope, though. Oh, that's it. RamomarNYC.com. That's that shit you wear when you go in to fuck a so-called positive bitch. I got it wrong. RamomarNY.com. RamomarNY. He supposed to be blessing me with some shit, right? Oh, man. I talked to him. He's like, mm. man, I got some cold. And hey, he Ram Omar, when these motherfucking 5150 niggas go see you. He got something for D, too. Just show me love. For he me? got some shit for D. Really? Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. What do you got, like some, um, some, Aztec? some rakes and shit? I don't know. It might be oh. a purse. It might say? be a dress. He just said some rakes. I'm about to, boy. Some Ooh. rakes. This he got thing. a leaf blower for me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh fuck. Go. Keep it Hey, up. come on now, homies. The Mexican. Ram Omar NYC. Let's go. Let's go. That's R-A-M-O-M-A-R-N-Y.com. Go check him out. Ram Omar NY.com. Hit that, hit that thing. Oh my this God. You gonna get cold? Crazy. What? Oh, yeah. got a leaf blower for D. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Some anybody seeds. know this shit? This is a professional um, thing oh, right here. Nice. <laughs> I don't know how to lower it. Anyway, what's up, 5150 Nation? First off, I wanna say to Indianapolis, Indiana, thank you. Sold out first show. Me and motherfucker Lavelle, uh, and Dominique, and JJ, yeah. and DC Fly on the motherfucking Comedy's Most Wanted Tour. Um, thank you, Indianapolis. We was going to do two shows, but we didn't want to take a chance. But we sold that motherfucker out. I sold know we would have. I know we would have motherfucking sold that motherfucker out if we did another show. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, it is what it is. Naptown, thank you. Thank you. We Naptown good? always show oh, up. We can't lower it. I just don't know how. Sorry. No, we show good. up and show out. Naptown, we appreciate y'all, man. Y'all motherfuckers. We had to walk a lot of niggas out of there, though. Niggas was trying to record the show. Oh, yeah. oh no. Niggas was trying to record the show. All the time. And I'm here to tell you, on this tour, we got them niggas that's walking up to you because we give you a warning. Yeah. We say, hey, man, don't do that. Woo, Put woo, your woo. Down. And we, we see you. Right. But some motherfuckers be, look. Goof ass niggas like, <laughs> I be like, and the security be like, whoop, they be grabbing motherfuckers, <laughs> niggas be disappearing and shit. Anyway, now we appreciate you, Naptown, uh, on the motherfucking sold out show side of the game. I was with old boy Ronan. Oh, Ronan, yeah, Ronan was getting through again. Ronan was at the Ronan right. was at the show and shit. Glasses was thick in the motherfucker. They was thicker than yours though. My glasses aren't thick. They not? No. You don't think so? Oh, Nigga, yeah. I know they got that. Oh. You don't Wait, think. but you got the... Um... D, what about yours? No. It's yours just... ain't thick? That ain't no. thick? No. Uh, th that's old school. get them school. big Tracy ass glasses y'all got on up in this oh, motherfucker. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I look like Cyclops and shit. Wait till we take him. We gotta go. D okay. want me to lose my sight so <laughs> bad. God. It's coming, D. D I want, want you, you blind. to take care of it. That's what <laughs> D want me to lose my sight. I do not. Anyway. Are we still online? Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure. Hey, so anyway... Uh, we got to start out with some jokes because I heard in Atlanta this weekend they had an orgy that was a flop. I heard niggas paid money to go to some orgy. Is this right? It was a farce. 
Frank, Frank, you know about it? Yeah, I heard something about it. Yeah. So people paid to go to... How much money you out, Frank? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Frank and Genevieve was there. <laughs> Am I going to get tossed up, Frank? Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. That's, You're silly. Y- if y- y'all pee on y'all, how, how, much, how much did they charge <laughs> the people? How much did they charge them? I heard they charge motherfuckers $175 something dollars. That's what I heard. Oh, wow. And, that's not, and then that some people I heard, like you said, flew in from other states or countries. Is that what kind of goofy must you be? Would do that, right. To go to an orgy in the most STD infested city in America. Mm. And I love Atlanta. I got peoples in Atlanta, but come on. Every bitch in Atlanta get hit with a rubber. They they run out of rubbers in Atlanta, goddammit. Them motherfuckers like, <laughs> like, like, like they run out of um, big size long john tops in the wintertime. Oh, God. They run out of condoms. <laughs> Because motherfuckers like, I ain't fucking with you, motherfucker. You yeah, fuck you with one that. of them boys. I'm yeah, just they saying. They do be crossing over down there a lot. They have a a, a a a a a a gay boyfriend because he got a job or something, and then they have an old street nigga because he got a rod. <laughs> One's got a rod, and one got a job. <laughs> and all uh, that all that moistness and mixture of um, <laughs> soot causes the city to be sick. And, and motherfuckers paid, you paid $175. And that's what we know of. Can you imagine you, there's probably other people that are helping? You paid $175 and it's pussy everywhere. God wow. damn it. You could, for the but price of the might, plane ticket. But that might be their thing, not just a one on one having sex. That's their thing. An you orgy. can have an orgy out here for about. You still have to pay for it. What are you just going to go out there and right. you can do all that and gather some folks? And Why do you want to have an orgy in Atlanta? What's so happy about Atlanta? They got sweet tea everywhere now. McDonald's right. got sweet tea. But it's not their. Uh, cho- in other words, somebody po- the people that posted that. We don't know why they chose Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was all fake, though, right? Well, so the they say, came I mean, they, some people are saying it's fake. Some if it was in Montana, i will go to oh, that. So I don't think there's as many STDs in Montana, goddammit. You number get people you, flying in from everywhere. You don't know how clean or dirty someone is. Well, not in Montana. It ain't that many. <laughs> if they posted it up for anybody to attend, Corey, you Why got did people you coming from Montana? all over. There's a lot of heterosexual, um, hard-working, used car salesman type no, people in Montana. No. Fishermen and shit like that. Ain't nobody got shit. They fuck the fish and bears. They ain't got no STD. Mm. In these big cities, that's where most of this shit is. <coughs> I don't know. Did you ever see Deliverance? <coughs> What's that? A movie? What is it about? Deliverance. Remember with the somebody delivered the STD? No, but remember those guys? They were country guys and they were hardcore country guys. And they ended up raping those dudes out there. They ended up. You don't they remember fuck Deliverance? Bears. If Deliver. you get raped in Montana, like you just go to the doctor, yeah. and the doctor going to be like, you just got to heal up. But if you get raped in goddamn Atlanta, goddamn it, they going to be like, boy, they gave you that shit. Getting raped in Montana is safe. Mm. Everybody know that. The, the con- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting raped in Montana is Montana, safe. Montana, mm. South Dakota, places like that is safe. It's safe. You just Corey. gonna be to you gonna Corey. be ashamed. Yeah, no. It's never safe to be because some motherfucker like the gimp gonna rape <laughs> That's you and shit. Say they gimped them, but yeah. they ain't got shit out there. But they smell like a, a salmon because they just got through fishing when they raped you. They ain't catch shit, so they caught your ass. Sound South Dakota and Montana places like that, you can get raped and still go to the party you was going to after you go in the bathroom and clean up. Doesn't sound appealing. I'm just letting you know. Atlanta is the problem. You get raped in Atlanta, you need to go to the doctor right away. You are going to be sick. So have a Montana orgy. I'm sick with a cold right now. Oh, you got a cold? Yes. I told you. We told you earlier. That girl's sick. Do you be having them cold? I, I, I just my she second got mad one at me of the season. I said, "Oh, please." I said she be sick. I ain't been sick. Last been... time I had a cold was a while ago. Three months. It was not no three months. It was way longer than that. Okay, You've been out here a while. In your heyday, you ain't never hang out with Magic, did you? And like I, and like I said, I I've, instructed uh, a gym, but this weekend I went to Indian weekend. Reservation with my folks. With my how, how cool was Magic when he announced that shit? I've, um, I've acquired the HIV virus. And, Man, uh, I cried that day. 
Uh, yeah, I was in college. It was back yeah, then. Back then, you didn't really school. know too much about it, and it was still quite scary. Well, I was just right. out of high school. Because mm. magic. Was, that was magic you just but he was so was cool it. when he, he said it. He was up, right. caught up. Uh, I think Isaiah gave it to me. Shut your <laughs> stop. Terrible. What? Isaiah Thomas. Uh-huh. That was his boyfriend, wasn't it? I'm just fucking around. Isaiah look mean, motherfucker. Zeke He's from is Chicago. He's a baller, man. That was a real One good. of the greatest point guards ever. You Top ever two. Been? Top two. Top two. Who you better? Can't, you can't even argue that. Who better? You can't even Top argue Top two. You can't argue. The reason I said top two, because you might find one more motherfucker. You could be like, he was good, too. But there ain't no. Man, Isaiah can't. Thomas? He yeah. won rings, too. All that Steve Nash hype shit. No. This the real motherfucking deal right here. Zeke Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas, that motherfucker used to beat teams by itself. Mm. I remember he beat a team in the playoffs limping. Oh, when, uh, when he, you remember when that he shit? He was 25 on the Lakers yeah. in the third quarter. He was limping. He was a big dude, too, right? No, Isaiah no, Thomas was about Zoe, Zoe height. If Zoe head was. What say, you trying to say? What? I'm just saying. <laughs> I know you made sure he sent that hat. That was that Ramo Shark. <laughs> this is from another company. Uh, oh, that ain't see. Romo? No. That's dope. Where you get that hat from? Yeah. This is it a snapback? A... Nope. Oh, that's a fitted. Yeah. What? Let me see the back. No, it's a snapback. Oh, I was oh. there for the stage. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just didn't understand the terminology. That's dope. Okay. Who yeah, made it? This is Nubia.com. Oh. Nubia. Oh. Ain't that a queen? Nubia.com. Nubia. It's a land. The land of Nubia. Brown. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. See, you put me on yeah. to some shit. Mm-hmm. This dude right here, he dope too. He got some real super fly. I've been knowing him for over 25 years. Nubia.com. N U W B I A.com. Nice. Nubia. That's yeah. dope. Nubia. That's dope. You got like a family member on your hat. Cook. Uh oh. Why you do her like that, man? Because she got that hearty laugh. <laughs> Genuinely funny. That I cannot help laugh. how it comes out. <laughs> right, right. That's the laugh when you be signifying motherfuckers. Oh, what you talking about, nigga? Your mama got hit by a car that day. I like both hit whatever all the other things he has on though. I like the shirt Who? and I like the jacket. I don't know if I like them together. What? But I You talking about me? Yeah. What? I'm this is she fashion. No, I you. like both. I don't know about them together, but I like it. What color this is, D? What color is what? I know you can see this shit. Oh, brother, it's multiple colors. You just said what you colors. would like you it. You trick. <laughs> you would like it, you blind motherfucker. I see the colors. We need that Della Reese. Um, um, you um, still ain't told us what color it is, though. It, Which don't, one? Don't put it on the spot. It is blue. It is gray. It is black. It's orange. It's neon it's a lot of green. Colors. Exactly. Right. <laughs> and your eyes are gray. I would tell you to kiss my ass too, but you probably can't find it, you blind motherfucker. Who cannot find that? It's like pin the tail on Corey, please. We would never miss that. She going at you, Corey. I think you need to defend yourself. I saw Tommy Sotomayor uh, uh. on Hollywood Boulevard. I think it was the premiere of that movie Chips. Mm-hmm. He was out there with his camera interviewing these um, girls. And I was driving. You know how they had the gates up? Already blocking the street, so everybody was big. Right. I couldn't pull over and talk to him and say, hey, what's up, man? You good? Because that's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Not trying to act tough. It's just when shit out there, you know how you just want to be like, what's up, nigga? Right. Oh, okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to to diss nobody. I ain't no mess starting motherfucker. I ain't trying to be no bully. So I just rolled my window down while he was interviewing these girls. And I was like, hey, 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 what's up, homie? Hey, hey. And then the girls looked first. Then he was like. Oh, it's Corey Holcomb, everybody. Hey. I was like, oh, that camera he shit. He turned the camera on you? Yeah, that's, that's hilarious. The, he, let me tell you something about niggas and cameras. Niggas, do you have to watch what goes on? It ain't just, motherfuckers be talking about side bitch pictures when they take the picture of you while you sleep and all that shit. Niggas use cameras too, man. Niggas wow. have a camera on your ass the whole motherfucking time, man. Mm. And I ain't saying, like I said, hey, bitch, shut up, Siri. <laughs> I don't know what you mean about Ooh. the camera. This oh. motherfucking phone is. Watch this. Let me show you guys something. I saw this shit online. Uh oh. Siri, do you work for the FBI? Oh. Uh oh. Shut up, bitch. Siri, do you work for the FBI? I don't know what that means. If you like, I can search the web for Siri. Do you work for the FBI? Yay. This is a lying bitch. <laughs> Yay. 
All FBI. these motherfuckers work for the FBI. Oh, Siri. The FBI. All God. these motherfuckers. They, they they put a program in there to make them. They used to catch people up. I don't understand the question. That's what they used uh-huh. to say. But anyway, I'm just saying. I ran into the uh, the, 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 the licensee mayor, and uh, I ain't I ain't mad at nobody. I know I said when I see him, it's on and all that shit. But I didn't. I didn't. I did speak. I engaged. Cause I had to. Right. I have to engage. I have to. I couldn't. You I did couldn't. The, did you do the nod up? Did you right. Did you, well, you not that? not really. I wasn't trying to be tough. I just wanted no, to let the nigga know. Hey, nigga, I'm right here. And he wasn't on nothing. And I ain't got to prove myself. And he ain't got to prove himself. Mm-hmm. I'm good, nigga. I got. To, I, I was going to get some money. Uh, but I do want to say this about all of the shit that's going on with this camera shit when people Ugh. fighting. In front of cameras and yelling out world star and shit. Uh, yeah. World star hip hop. That shit make us look bad, dog. And it, it, I saw it years ago when they started it all. Now it's just like, it's an abundance of it. It's just ridiculous. It's mothers. You know what I'm saying? It's girls in school. I mean, look yeah, at that one girl. Man. Girl died already. Like, they, they, you know, they were all excited, beating her up. I mean, she died. So a, a, a young girl died because these girls were hating on her. And then we're they all, all jumped on her? A couple of them jumped on, and the other ones were filming it. That's what I'm saying. So the other ones were, uh, and they get you get busted just as well, as well as the person throwing the the blows. So don't think, oh, well, we were just there. No, you're you're you. What is it? A, not aiding and abetting. It's a what is it called? Um, accessory to whatever it is. But they're involved. Whatever it is, you get in trouble too. Yeah, yeah. So they got to know you. this. So I'm just saying, like, about all this camera phone shit that's going on, where everybody is fucking fighting on camera and shit it's it's a bad look for us as people yeah. and i'm not just talking about black people i'm talking about everybody it's just everybody bad. man i mean like i'm i'm just i'm just saying man it's like when i see some people fighting on camera i know that they're not productive people because let me tell you something man going to the courthouse for a mm. fight yeah. Especially if you ain't got no lawyer. Speak on that. That's an all day ordeal. Nigga, speak on Who that. got all day? Who got the energy right? To come back to court four, five times until you finally take what they going to give you, if you know what I'm talking about. You already know. <clears throat> and then you got to pay this fine and you might even go to jail. It depends on. What you got going on with you? Who representing you? All that shit. Your Motherfuckers status, who ain't never been that. to a courthouse for no dumb shit. I, or motherfucker who just ain't got shit to do. Them the motherfuckers who fight in the street for nothing. Well, Corey, that's where that saying comes from. They, they don't have anything to lose. When you see people going ham like that and just, going, just wailing and looking ridiculous, you just think to yourself, they don't have anything to lose. They don't care. There's That's nothing, fucked up, there's man. Nothing at stake. All that, all that fighting in the street. I'm talking about not fighting in the street like in the alley. Let's go back here, nigga. Let's go back or here let's, let's and get it exactly. in. You know what I'm saying? No, these motherfuckers are fighting in the street. Getting Most kicks people. In, What's up right here, no? Yeah, jumping people, neighborhoods. Just it's like, like man, the fight is a know. video shoot or some shit. Right. Thirst for fame. And right. if you see somebody who don't want to fight you, don't bully them. Because a lot of you motherfuckers only fight people that you know you can whoop. You ain't up for no challenge and no motherfucker that's your size or whatever. No way. Right. Most motherfuckers, oh, I'm going to beat this well, motherfucker up because I know where, I can where beat him. Where do they find I don't, I, I, that I, exciting? You jumping want me to tell you what I think it come from? Jumping people. That's it's called bitch made. That's bitch made behavior where a whole bunch of motherfuckers gang up on one motherfucker and especially if y'all all from the same place, y'all all the same race. Right. I mean, like, I remember I saw a video sometime out here, and I felt bad. It touched me. These girls jumped on this one girl oh, yeah. in front of a club, and they killed her. Mm. I, didn't, I didn't know mm. they killed her. I it was out there going toward Orange County. Ugly bitches. They showed them all. Ugly bitches always try to fight. They don't got nothing to lose. Pretty the cute girl. girl. Yeah. The girl with the long hair. Whoop de whoop. That's been going on for the longest because bitches had to be controlled. Mm. Savage motherfuckers. I, I don't give a fuck who get mad. Mm. But now the children act like that. And the men act like that. Mm. Because they bitch raised. Bitch made. 
if you motherfucking have something with a motherfucker and y'all got to get to the bottom of y'all shit and y'all going to knuckle up, two niggas knuckling up, that ain't the end of the world. Right. One motherfucker getting knocked out, all right, he had enough. Right. He had enough. Get up off that nigga before you kill him. Right. Ain't no need you killing this nigga over this hot dog y'all fighting over. All right, oh, now the boy done had enough. Right. That, ain't that what they say? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the boy done had enough. Boy done had enough. Get off him. Get him up. That was when, that was when men used to run the village. Yeah. If that makes sense to people, men used to run the village. They used to be like, all right, let them fight if they want to fight. One motherfucker get knocked out. All right, get off them. Let them settle it. Right. <laughs> let them settle it. Uh, it's over now. It's, it's, it's <laughs> over it now. And I remember motherfuckers used to shake sometimes. Yeah. And then the hierarchy mm. is What a motherfucker say? Boy, I didn't mean to whoop your ass like that, but, but I, I told you, I, nigga. I, I, didn't I tell you? I had to. Motherfucker <laughs> like, yeah, you got me this time, nigga. You got me this time. <laughs> But uh, and a lot no of no more that shit. No, a lot of times when you gotta fight somebody under those conditions that Corey just described, there's a newfound respect. Regardless of who won the fight or lost the fight, used to be, but they don't get it no more. There's a new a newfound respect between the two men because the dude who won understood I could have lost that shit, mm-hmm. and the dude who lost understood shit I could have won that shit. And so there's a certain level of respect there. It's like, well, I don't have to fight this nigga again. I'd rather have this nigga on my team. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's always been bullies. It. It's always been situations where motherfuckers get into it. But I'm here to tell you, there is no more respect. Mm. Motherfuckers around where I used to grow up, they'll tell you, don't, hey, man, gone. If you fight him, I'm telling you, man, this ain't what you want. Yeah. Everybody used to warn you. We not, even if it is a fight. We gonna all beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> this was the shit, nigga. Hey, not, hey, this is what he want. All right, they tell you in a way. Get right. the fuck on from over here with that shit. They gave you a pass. Now it's chaos. It's no rules. Yeah. That's why you will see a boy out there fight. I seen on the. On, I seen on a video one day. This dude. Mama and his girlfriend was fighting, and he was videotaping it. Oh, shit. Oh. I saw the shit. This nigga want a reality TV show. I'm not that old, man, but I'm here to tell you. In my neighborhood, they didn't have camera phones and shit like that, but if uh, 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 if your girlfriend and your mama got into a fight, the first thing the nigga, the elder nigga going to say, well, what you do? Exactly. Like, you can't you ask that now, by? though. You can't ask what you do. You now. let your mama fight your girlfriend? Ooh. I should beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa you let the girlfriend fight the mom right? let the girl, fuck that shit break that shit up mm-hmm. it ain't That's no ridiculous. motherfucking fighting while I'm here you motherfuckers I wouldn't give a fuck what happened mm-hmm. y'all not finna fight you my mama you my girlfriend it's get not the gonna fuck out of here y'all yeah. better sit y'all ass down right. before I beat both of y'all ass. mama go in the house <laughs> I'm gonna take her home you go in the house you know, we break that shit up bitch get your ass in the car and don't talk to my mama like that oof See? I'm dealing and if with my you. mama acting crazy, right. I'm going to grab her and, and take, take her, her in the house, house <laughs> yeah. and tell her if I feel like my mama was wrong right. when ain't nobody else around, I can't believe you put me on the spot like that. Right. You cold for that, mama. Like Rocking a hard place, mama. But <laughs> I ain't finna let no bitch. Okay, fuck it. What if it's your wife? Ooh. Well. Gotta take wife, wifey home. That's number one. And number two, you ain't going to be able to settle it right there in front of the both of them because they both want you rooting for them. Hmm. Mom wants you rooting for her. Wife wants you rooting for her. If you What you do is take, take wifey home. Mom, I'm going to call you, handle, talk to you later, and then you talk to the wife on the way home. If you picked. Don't try to do that shit right there. <laughs> if you picked a woman of substance, she not finna try to fight your mama. Oh, well, of course. Even if your mama bogus, she going to be like, mm. she going to respect you. She going to be like this. Right. I'm finna go to the car. I'm yeah. finna go to the car. She going to respect you. That's your mama. You. I'm not finna do this. I'm not finna do this. Yeah. And you going to see that and you going to know, okay, mama, wifey you saw how you. she walked away? Yeah. But you talking crazy and this mm. supposed to be my wife and you talking crazy? Then you check your mama. After a certain age, right. of course. Right, right, right. At a certain age. And in and, and a certain ways to check your mama. And you already know her character by this point. If you're, you're, you're on the older side. If your, your mama, mama ain't shit, bitch. Right. Then don't bring your family around her. 
you wouldn't have been talking to her in the first place. Probably, you probably wouldn't even have had a relationship with her if she that crazy. If your mama ain't shit bitch, don't bring your family around her. Mm. Tell her, I don't bring my family around you because you an ain't shit bitch, mama. Right. And I don't believe Leroy, my daddy. Uh-oh. And really, you need to have expectations that match who your mama is. If Explain you, that, though, because <laughs> a lot of people don't understand that. I'm just saying, like, if your mama is ain't shit, don't have no high ass expectations for your mama's behavior. And if you bring somebody into a situation you with you knowing it. how your mama is, you set that person up. That's right. And I'm here to tell you, if you bring an ain't shit bitch around your mama, Oof. you Oof. got mental issues. Ain't shit bitches ain't supposed to meet your mama. Uh, <laughs> D got shit going on. That's why she talking Sorry, and shit. Guys. No, it's some shit happening outside. God damn it, D. D got a nigga coming up here. She do? I think so. Is he here yet, D? I heard a door open and I don't want to take a chance. Well, D, go get his ass. They sending Genevieve out there. Genevieve got the thing. I told him to to text me. Genevieve got the thing. You don't see nothing out there, Genevieve? Because I heard heard a door flip open. We got a little bitty thing so Genevieve can shoot it. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> if I saw if I saw Jitterby with a gun, I'd be laughing my ass off. Thank you. you she's so that. motherfucking little. She's like sixth grade. Little. Get back or I'll pop your ass. She will shoot you. Yeah, and beat the case. Yeah. <laughs> Like, a sixth grader just pulls out a magnum. No, you, <laughs> yeah, you know you should have You should have shot it. What? <laughs> anyway. No, but that's real spit, man. Would you t- listen, man? The gun made punks brave. Back in the day, back in our day, it, you had to fight. You had to, you had to fight every day. Sometimes going to school, you had to fight every, every day. Fight, though. Not shoot. Not the go online and not go great, online. Right. And start <laughs> the gun is the great equalizer. The great equalizer. That's what, happen, we, that's what happened to a lot of really people. Yeah, now yeah. you have the internet, right. Yeah. That's what happened to... Um, Ben Wilson, the the, oh, the the young the the ball, the, the ball player from Chicago, mm. some nigga. Man. I watched that shit, the Ben Wilson story, a few times, and I listened to that nigga Man. tell his side of the story. Like he started some shit. Like Ben Wilson started some shit. Okay, okay. You came up to a school you don't even go to with a gun, nigga. Right. Mm. What the right fuck off. is you talking about? <laughs> right off top. You was on bullshit from the <laughs> jump, <Right>. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> fuck is you talking about somebody did something to you so you shot him? I, I listened to that shit. It made me throw up. Get your whole ass out of here, nigga. You a punk motherfucker from a fucked up family. Went up to another school talking about, oh, somebody robbed my cousin. You had a gun so you was Superman that day, nigga. Mm. Stop, act, you, stop acting like somebody did something to you, nigga. You, you, was some, you did some whole ass shit, nigga. And now you, you somewhere you locked up. You a whole ass up. nigga. Now you somewhere locked up. You you was you come from that shit. Like you said, y'all was going to smoke weed. Let me tell you something. When you in high school, you got a gun and some weed, mm. you ain't on shit. Right, you ain't you on shit. Right. You in high right. school, okay, I'm finna smoke some weed and I got a pistol. You ain't on <laughs> shit. You are not at that school to do nothing <laughs> but motherfucking do some dirt. You did not have an English test today, nigga. Right, nigga. <laughs> you, you, ain't on, well. you ain't on shit, <laughs> nigga. Stop acting like somebody did something to you. Nigga, you was on some motherfucking I'm finna get me a victim type shit. So why don't you say that, especially oh, since it's bitch. all these years later? Yeah. What the fuck is you acting like? He bumped into me and was like, what's up? I listened to that shit. I was like, nigga, yeah. get your whole ass out of here, nigga. Mm-hmm. You tough with a gun, nigga. Mm-hmm. With a gun, you tough than a motherfucker. But if you didn't have a gun, you'd have talked it out with him. You you'd probably would have shut the fuck up. You'd have been a diplomat. Right. But with the gun, you're right. a tyrant. Nigga, get your whole ass out of here with that motherfucking... Man. Somebody did something to me. Nigga, you was on bullshit. But, but anyway... You, 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 but you saying, man... The bottom line is... If our, if our people, our community gonna heal, we gotta stop getting power from fucking each other up. Because we get power from that. Yeah, a why, motherfucker yeah, gets, why do they get off on yeah. he, A motherfucker gets something like, nigga, like you said, I'm Billy Badass with this gun. I'll kill a nigga. I'll, but no. you'll act right around white folk. You'll act right in that courtroom. 
no you act remorseful when when you in the courtroom facing them white folk. Hey man, but look, when dude did what he did, he just was a bad seed. Right. And everybody recognized him as a bad seed, and nobody was walking around with no motherfucking video cameras or none of that shit talking about ooh, you get what I'm saying? Right. When he did that shit, everybody knew he was a dirty, rotten motherfucker. Now, we so fucked up. If somebody shoots somebody, motherfuckers be like, damn, he got that motherfucker. I got it on tape. Because most motherfuckers are bitch raised. Right. Like it's you, tough, right? You so raised, you quick. raised by a bitch. Yo, your shit, your whole thinking mm. is that of jealousy and envy and motherfucking and get um, back. right get back. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna make sure I get him. Yeah, mm. that's bitchery. Them bitches yeah. never used to motherfucking be happy. Them bitches used to never have nobody. Niggas used to fuck them and drop them off. Mm. That's your word, ain't it? Bitchery. Mm. I, well, hey, whatever. Let's let's motherfucker see see that motherfucker. I heard you say that before though. <laughs> I'm just saying it's like niggas, niggas they act like bitches. Mm. Bitches, bitches always was envious of other bitches. I'm not saying it wasn't men like that. Hell yeah, it was men like that. Right. But they got called out. You, oh, you like old like bitch. punk <laughs> ass bitch motherfucker. <laughs> right. <laughs> now it's trendy to be a bitch ass motherfucker. Right. You it's could- trendy to tell. It's trendy to. Not stand against the NFL. Because Colin Kaepernick ain't got a job because he stood up for not only himself, he stood up for the NFL is 70% black. Right. Mm -hmm. Players. He stood up for them. Now he ain't got no job. And you know what's going to happen? People are going to say, well, he shouldn't have did that. Right. Let me tell you something. All this shit I say going to get played back to some motherfucking a uh, 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 Caucasian male in charge. Mm. <laughs> the entire NFL is is Caucasian leadership. They Caucasian don't have a leadership. black owner. Caucasian ownership. Yeah, there's some black men in you know in leadership. But they work for the white men. They work for the white owners. Thank mm. you. So there is no there is no leadership in the NFL that's black. Right. So that's why one of your brothers right. who does outstanding things. Gives the money that he get from the NFL back to poor people. Right. And all that shit. That's why he can get ousted and be put aside. And the other 70% of the NFL don't say, oh, man, that's bullshit, man. You can't do that to him. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Right. That's what's happening in this world. There is no consequence for what the fuck you do to us. You know what's interesting? The elder, Dick Gregory, is always posed the question of, Voting for the lesser of two evils. I've heard him say this a couple of times. Hillary or, or, or Trump. He said, if you voted for either one, the lesser of the two evils, you still, you evil for voting for evil. Thank you. So to tie that to your point. Because they do say the lesser of the two right, evils. Is to right. tie that to Corey's point. <laughs> nobody talks to the so-called. We made it blacks who always got some shit to say on their radio programs. Nobody steps up and says, well, wait a minute. If you do business with them, aren't you doing business with the devil? Aren't you teaching us how to put our head down and be quiet and capitulate? You already know if you're going to rise up their ladder, you can't be the real black man you are. You can't have a job in America if you are a black person who speaks up for your people. There's not a job in this country for you. So, Mexican people too. The, you, I dare you to go to your job and speak up for what they doing to the Hispanic people in this country, grabbing them off the street, grabbing them off their jobs, putting them in cuffs in the back of a van and kicking them out the fucking country. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Say like, something at work and watch you be on the outside I'm looking saying, in. Like right. you, you cannot right. tell me that you helping the next generation by teaching them how to capitulate. By teaching them how to bow down and, and kowtow. And when, when are those days going to pass and allow a real space for a black alpha man to be who the fuck he is? There is no space for a black alpha male in any type of job in this country. You will be on the outside looking in if you are bold enough. 
right. to speak up for your people. Mm -hmm. What Donald Trump said today was flat out evil, and I saw the hesitation in everybody face say? What say? on TV. The hesitation in every sportscaster. Oh, the Kaepernick uh, Black comment. and white, they didn't want to touch it for real. They didn't want to touch it, but what this man did was something so evil and said something so evil, basically, he he's daring NFL owners to get this guy a chance, and this man ain't did nothing but stood up for his motherfucking people. Talking about Kaepernick, yeah. Yeah, so talk about Trump Kaepernick. Said, no, I'm just letting Zona, uh-huh. Trump basically dared the National Football League yeah, to basically. give this man a job, wow. and when you look at what Kaepernick did, he did more than most motherfuckers in the NFL do wow. for their own motherfucking mm -hmm. kids. Wow. Most motherfuckers do for their kids because they take the money out the check. Mm. Other than that, they wouldn't fuck with them kids. But that's wow. what I'm saying. This is where we at. We in so much chaos. We won't stand as one. They we have finally found that the divide and conquer shit is in full motherfucking effect. Well, the good job. And the good career is the wedge that keeps us apart because you got black people who feel like they're upwardly mobile because of their education and their and their economic opportunities. And they feel like that is going to keep them in a good standing in this society until some bullshit happened mm -hmm. in their world. Just like when that professor was climbing in his own window. <laughs> and, uh, so is that, is that which professor what happened you, you bring know, him up the all the time up, uh, the dude broke he into his own house because he locked his keys they, got, they arrested him the black right. is he a lot of black people think as, as long as i'm doing well and i'm paying my bills and i'm away from the streets so and i'm away from but all but there's that, nowhere to run i'm good there's nowhere to hide the so building i live in, in your the basket. building i live in i got a car parked out on the street and this motherfucker said can you move your car because I want to be able to step off on the curve right there. Wow. Uh-oh. And I'm like, now see the motherfucker, he lost his foot to diabetes. Uh oh, okay. So he's he's got one foot? Yeah, he, he Toby stopped. When he say he's gonna kick you in the ass, you can see it coming. Oh shit. He got one <laughs> fucking foot. But he asked, did he ask kindly? Did he ask But this motherfucker in Professor my building Henry Lewis Gates is the brother's. When name. I, when I had a car parked in the back, he said Hey, so when he first got Lewis his diabetes, right. his foot cut off. Yeah. So I talked to the management and they said, maybe it'd be better if I park here in your spot. And oh. I was like, what? So I got with the managers. Then he ain't even talked to them. Oh, uh -oh. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. He tried. But I didn't say shit. I know. Yeah. I just was like, no, you can't park in my spot. Uh -oh. Then, then one day I had my old school out there. You know, it's loud. Mm -hmm. And this motherfucker, he thought I went upstairs. And he was yelling, hey, um, Corey, Corey, he's yelling. <laughs> and, and, you know, Sorry. I'm in the car with my wife. We looking at this yelling. motherfucker. Look at him yelling upstairs. <laughs> I'm in the motherfucking car. Oh, no. So then he realized I was in the car, and then I saw him look. And then he came over the car. Hey, Corey, can you please um, turn the car off? It's loud. What happened oh. to the volume, the fumes, nigga, when, I was, when you thought fumes. I was upstairs? <laughs> but I'm looking at him. I'm like, yeah, I got you. Oh. I'll cut it off. This what happened. Y'all ready for this? No. DSO? No. The next day, I happened to come out on the porch. No reason in particular. I just came out on the porch. And the manager of the building was outside downstairs. And he came out. And he was like, hey, did you hear me? I fucking get you. You heard me yelling at that son of a bitch? <gasps> and then the manager was like, no, he right there. Whoa, but he then, and then he looked up and saw me. And I ain't say shit. I just was like, <laughs> okay, all right, right, motherfucker. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. You check me, huh? All right. I got his ass. So now his foot gone. Oh. And he want me to. He want me to move my car. Wait. So it'll be easier for him oh to get off God. the curb. So now, now you know when you ain't got no foot, you can't really walk oh. forward. That's Fuck. People don't understand how important they big toe is and the rest of they toe. Uh -oh. Now he peg leg. The front of his foot off. <laughs> so oh. I know when he step off that curb, it's hard than a motherfucker. He'll fall forward. Oh my God. <laughs> Corey, can you move your fuck your footless ass, motherfucker? <laughs> footless. <laughs> motherfucker, you better go see them people Will Smith saw from my robot. And get oh. you a motherfucking oh. robotic foot. Because I don't give a fuck. I won't see you fall on the curb. Oh, 
<laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah. Foot he loose. needs some milk for real. <laughs> Get your foot loose, Damn Stumpy. It. Right. They calling him Stumpy. Right. Oh. Motherfucker, I'm, I'm about to motherfucking send him a copy of Foot Loose and put it right in front oh, of his door. No. <laughs> foot Loose. No, what was Kick that off your Sunday shoe. Crack his foot off. What was right. That one? I, I forgot that one. Blind me. We brought this stuff up because I'm here to tell you there's nowhere a brother can live without drama. I live in a neighborhood where you can. My street is so quiet at night. Mm hmm. If I made a mistake and left my windows down, I believe everything will be in my car when oh, I come yeah. back. But them motherfuckers who live around me can't stand my ass. Because you live over there. I live over there. I be pulling up with, I got a motorcycle. I got old school cars. <laughs> they you can't stand that shit. shit. He got a fucking uh, bike. I don't have a bike. <laughs> His bike has a motor on it with a big ass. How the fuck ass? that not great got a bike? Not great. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, it don't matter how successful you are. Everywhere yeah, you live in this country, you're going to hide them motherfuckers. Is, uh, 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 and don't go over and hide uh, 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 a beer with them motherfuckers. Oh. All you black folks who move to this so-called nice neighborhood. Mm. Hey, come over, have a beer. Do that mm -mm. dumb shit if you want to. Mm -mm. You better tell them motherfuckers, hey, how you doing? No, we good over here, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker knock on the door with a cake, God damn it! tell them motherfucker. That's why you got to have a dog. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we don't want a no pit one. bull. Oh, they got a fucking dog. <laughs> fucking rot. That's what we have. Can I pet yeah. him? You pet him if you want to, motherfucker. He bred the bite, motherfuckers, mm. who look like you. Just like y'all used to have them dogs chasing us. He what was the it. dog that was protecting Damien? What kind of dog was that? Cujo? No, not that. Oh, was no, it was a rot. I had, I had a St. Bernard. It was before. a rot, Weiler. Oh, that motherfucker was a man. Yeah. That's well, it was it. a female. The oh, Saint Bernard, Saint Some Bernard, get big on you, boy. Yeah. Oh, they like humans. Yeah, they get. I couldn't big. keep in the yard. No, I couldn't keep in the yard. She <laughs> climbed the fence like a nigga. Oh, <laughs> shit! I, I was one day when she was in the front again. I said, "How the fuck she get out there again?" So it took about what she do. She wait for you to close the door, and after about thirty minutes, she be like. <laughs> This bitch walked up to the thing and was like, <laughs> like a nigga. You know, and jumped down. So I put spikes on the top oh. of the fence. I put spikes up there because I couldn't have it in the yard. In the Just sitting there in the morning when you over like, I could have been a motherfucker. So I put spikes up there. This bitch dug her way out the yard. She went under. She went under the fence. Uh -huh. Smart dog. Couldn't That's keep right. in the yard. Right. Couldn't Smart. keep her in the yard for nothing. She was laughing. She never put up no resistance. She be watching me build a shit. She like, but what about digging? I'm about to, you gonna put some some you gonna put some you gonna put some spikes on the ground, nigga. Right. Yeah. Anyway, I'm getting out. Right, you can't keep me in here. God damn it! I got dick out there in the street. Uh oh. She was a hoe. She was a bitch. <laughs> she was a bitch. She was a bitch. She had to go out there and get her fix, <laughs> goddamn. Anyway, we're going to break on to the part of the show that a lot of people stomach. And uh, they deal with you, D. Mm -hmm. That's cool. What did, do it look like somebody back there? Yeah. Nobody can see Frank, can they? A little bit. Maybe if they look this way when it, when it goes. Oh. They be seeing Frank moving around. They see there. Frank. Is that the kid where they see Frank? I'll be getting texts. Who is that in the back? If it goes to me, yeah, they can see them too. Who is mm -hmm. that in the back? Shut your fucking ass. nosy ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's my pussy back there. Now, oh how about that? Oh Damn. Okay. How about that, nosy motherfucker? <laughs> I love you. Anyway. I love you. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't. Who is that in the back, eh? I love you. <laughs> what? God damn it, nosy motherfuckers. Anyway. All right. All right, um. We're going to get this out the way so we can have a productive show. This is what we call, um, on the 5150, D's Loose Talk About Bullshit. Yes, yes, because I might have to get up and, and run out and check on something right quick. Um, that nigga ain't going nowhere. And my, thank you, Zoe, for that entrance, and my cold <laughs> medicine before it wears off. Man, be in the fall. Yeah, go ahead. What happened? What happened? Nothing. You got a cold. It's I'm not going to get anybody sick. What am I going to do? Sneeze on you? Come what on. What kind of cold is it? Sinus. 
Just a regular cola. Yeah, Ain't no Magic right Johnson here. cola. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So, congratulations to Dave Chappelle. Remember when we spoke about him getting his uh, his deal with Netflix? He's got a couple of um, specials, and the first one is out. It was just released. Uh, it's called The uh, Age of Spin, at, live at Hollywood uh, Palladium. Dave Chappelle. Which Chappelle! I want to say, I'll check it out tomorrow when I'm resting. It's on uh, Netflix? Yeah. It's the first. That's where you got that so big-ass so deal from. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they I say know. he walked away from 50 million. Apparently, he got 60 for yeah. these. Dumb motherfucker. He's yeah, stupid yeah. for not taking that 50 million. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't <laughs> him. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. And it's less work. He's doing a special. You know what I'm saying? It's just a stand-up. So we'll see. And this was shot, apparently, was recorded last year. So congrats on that. Uh, moving on. Big uh, shout out, Dave. That's right. I'll have to check it out. Anyway, um, moving on to another comedian. Dave getting that weight on him. Oh, did you see that? Oh, he's loped up. I like those his arms. His little picture oh looked like Jay-Z. Oh, no, he's in shape. Have you seen it? Oh, he's Oh, no, up. his arms have always been diesel. Oh, you trying to say he got his center is off? No, he just every day he do about 80 of these and shit and be like, I don't want to do it? nothing else. That's okay. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll fuck it with you, No, Dave. anyway, no, he looks good. <laughs> on the Jay-Z um, side of the game, no, he was looking like Jay-Z. Move, moving on to another comedian, uh, drama in his life, poor Mike Epps. Anyway, he's run into another major drama with his estranged wife. He'll be fine. According to current court documents, Michelle Epps, because she's still married to him, but not for long since he filed divorce uh, for divorce. Well, she's now demanding a little over 109000 100000 uh, a, a month. This is what she's seeking in the court documents. That's what they found out. Um, she breaks down the cost of the things, and she said that, in, that, that that's what her and the two daughters need um, to live on. She said she, a spends, month? she, said she spends several thousand uh, a month for shoes and clothes for her and the girls, ages 10 and 12 they are, and that the girls get their hair taken care of in a very expensive salon. And these are, this is what's posted on the, the documents, not to mention food, vacations. Uh, plus seventy two thousand in private school fees. Also, she said she needs thirty five hundred monthly to give to her mom, whom she said is their nanny, and also six hundred dollars a month to cover her mom's Mercedes, not just a, her mom's vehicle. She actually says Mercedes. Lastly, she wants possession of their house. And in case you don't recall, the uh, the shit hit the fan when she caught him. And mind you, uh, I'm just upset at saying this because if this is the case, if this is why they're getting a divorce. It's pretty sad because they have the two young daughters and everything. Anyway, if you recall last year, she, this all started supposedly um, because she found out he was DMing through Twitter flirtatious messages with the woman. And then they separated that year. They've been married for 10 years and now they're going through divorce. Work it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell? It's I hate too late when now. people report shit like that. Look. People who are together for years, if they decide not to be together, a DM message didn't make it turn into a divorce. That's true, but I'm just saying, if it, if that was the case, let's just say that she start that started. He filed it. divorce. Apparently. So why are they saying that? So well, she he got called. You fuck it, then I divorced you. Nah, if that ain't what happened. That's true, but that's all that's leaked out so far. So. So let me say this about this whole comedy, fucking thing. People, when they go to divorce court, they go for blood. Mm-hmm. $100,000 a month is not what somebody going to get for a comedian who's sliding scale. Mm-hmm. Mike Epps does not have a job like a Trevor Noah or right. somebody <laughs> like that. Right. Where like- this is where you get the money from. Right. Mike Epps is a road comic for the most part. Right. And I know and, he and likes act, the road because yeah. there's freedom on the road. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of shit that happens on the road that I know that's what he prefers. Mike Epps is a comedian. I'm telling you, man, before I used to motherfucking be able to take care of myself, I used to I used to say, damn, man, I wish I, I hope my career is set up where I'm not dependent on a TV network. Right. Mm-hmm. For my source of income. Right. And but the, the, here's the here's the ups and downs to that. Your income goes up, it fluctuates, fluctuates, and it right. goes down. Yeah. So that just means that it's gonna be a nasty divorce because that's not some shit that somebody who is not guaranteed money gonna be able to maintain can maintain. Right. Right. So eventually the shit gonna go down and down 
and down, if it ever gets to that, because right. I don't think it'll ever get to that, because they won't be able to. Um, well, not that amount anyway. This was this, this, these last few years for the brother Mike Epps have been great. Yeah, great. He had TV show opportunities and everything. He got Movies. money for that. Yeah. So what's happening with that shit is it's a situation where two people who might be breaking up. And somebody is like, I'm going Somebody's for blood. Better, right? Somebody's I'm going to get everything I can from you. But the truth is, when you fucking with an entertainer that travels for the most part and for his money. Know this. this is what I'm saying. You'll never find the money. You'll never find the money. A lot of that because shit is under <laughs> none of it is guaranteed. Right. That's right. Right. That's right. But unfortunately, they do go by tax returns. So. My daughter's mother sent some shit to Wildin' Out. Did I ever say this before? Oh, God. Wait, what? My daughter, mother. She's At that point, how old was your daughter? Up there in age still, right? Like, like almost fifteen. Okay, something okay. like that. Okay, yeah. This was the funniest shit ever. This bitch just knew she was finna kill him. <laughs> she don't understand that MTV don't pay no money. Right. And on top of that, we filmed the shows within a few weeks, mm. Th- two three weeks. Wow. So. She got what she supposed to get for three weeks. <laughs> we was laughing. I was like, this bitch thought she was finna get us. <laughs> get your bum ass out of here, bitch. I know you somewhere in some suburb of Chicago now. Some motherfucker, you mad because he won't spend the night with you. You just a bum ass bitch. <laughs> You ain't going to never be shit like I told you. You thought I was saying it because I was mad. No, I was saying it because it's the truth. You ain't never been shit. Mm. Bitch, what, 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 mm. what was the name of that movie um, Samuel Jackson was in? The Kingsman? Oh, yeah. Remember oh, when he was like president? That. But you didn't stop shit. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you was going to stop me, didn't you, bitch? Get your bum ass out that fucking... Bed you paying on that you finance from rent a city, you bum ass bitch. Oh. I'm out here getting it. Well, look at it. Well, listen. Fucking bitch. On I thought that, she was going to fuck my life listen, up. Get on, your thirsty I hope ass go to out mediation. of here. Uh, well, listen. I, she doesn't sound like the kind that's up for that. So they anyway. should go to mediation. That's a family. Don't destroy Who? your family. Don't let the she system destroy She knew what she was doing. That stuff is public. Now, here on another note. Let's, let's go, go to mediation. We're going to go back to this okay, stuff but let me because move. I want to show somebody something about how the system turns women against men right. later on. Okay. That's what the main oh, part good. of this show is going to be about. Because I'm going to show y'all something that's going to blow y'all mind. Okay. Well, let's move on to an entirely different take on something very similar to this chance the rapper for instance right he is all caught up on his child support one two he and his ex now because they were together worked it out this is the picture after they went to court working it and out. he wanted to be known he's like listen we worked it out these are two parents that aren't going to be together they're not they're going to deal with it um and also and and what's funny is out of this whole story Instead of people saying, wow, praise, and I'm like, wow, y'all, that's great. You guys are going to work it all out. They, they focused on, at the end of this whole thing, because he was in court, and they said, listen, they both came in together. We got this. This is what we want to have happen, right? Also, he's going to move in. They used to live together. He had the daughter the last few months or whatever, and he said he's going to move him back in with his parents. That's what people concentrate on. Talking about, you mean he's got all this money, and you move him back with his parents? He said, I want to. He said, my parents are aging, could save some money. I want to be closer to them. I'm cool. But and it it's not like matter. he's going to be some lazy dude that's going to be living off his parents. Do you know how long Hello? rappers have? Anyway, and nowadays, that's right. You're wow. right. You're right. I don't give a fuck how hot You're you right. are, goddammit. Anybody right You're now. You're not going to be cracking forever. I don't even say rappers. It's not of the times with anybody. Thing. I live yeah. in L.A. I see some of the most famous people, goddammit, arguing in the grocery store line like, 99 cents. <laughs> You bullshit. <laughs> that money don't last forever? Yeah. Hey, don't tell nobody I work here. Mm-hmm. Right. Real talk. <laughs> okay. Look. Oh, inside joke. Motherfuckers, inside be, joke. motherfuckers gotta feed their family. Yeah. You get a job at motherfucking um, I like that. Sam's Club or some shit, goddammit. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if you was platinum at one time. That that's was, refreshing. That was, that was eight years ago. That was right, eight right, years ago. Right, right, right. But people are. Uh, 14 cent 
royalty check Man, right people now. are so <laughs> gung-ho on making a career out of somebody else's loss. Thank you. Yeah. No. Yeah, they want to chime in on everything instead of saying you what? owe me something, even though I'm getting tossed up by a motherfucker who ain't even got a job now. But you owe me something. That's what bitches be thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was this really, nigga drive the car you gave me. <laughs> it was nice. But it was you refreshing. still owe me. Right. Very refreshing to hear that kind of story <laughs> happen. You know what I'm ass out of here, you nothing ass bitch. <laughs> it was nice. They didn't. They didn't give dust. up. Y'all better start putting dope in these bitches' cars. Get them bitches a case. They didn't give up any. Put them any, bitches in the system, nigga. <laughs> any figures or what have you, but they were just the main part of the story is that they both came in together and amicable. worked it out. Right? I like that. Right. Working it out amicably. Yeah. That's dope. Somebody says that. And we hat need to velvet. see more of Fuck that. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, oh, also, hey, if you didn't hear that earlier today, um, Apple released um, a bunch of new products that are coming out towards the end of the month. It's called the red, the exclusive red iPhone. Um, and also they're... Oh, the same product, just a different color. Nigga, yeah. stop selling us to- you know, <laughs> illusions and shit. Well, here's the deal. The with product. that... My iPhone 7 ain't shit. <laughs> right. I'm sticking with my 6, right. And don't don't switch it, D. I, I love my little headphone and everything. Yeah, it's, the, it's the 7 ain't got a jack for the headphone. All right. You got to buy an accessory for that. Yeah. Right. See, so These I'm, iPhones ain't shit no more. The old man died. And these motherfuckers <laughs> hustling this shit on some dirty, rotten shit. And they're also releasing the new several, red one. Several other products. <laughs> one of them being an iPad that's going to be um, less than half the cost of the old iPads. It's going to be about three hundred. So another version of some shit that already exists. Cut it in yeah. half and make it cuter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So who knows? But anyway, okay. so that's the new thing that just came out. They just uh, put put that line out this morning. And then also, I want to say rest in peace to Chuck Berry for all those. Youngsters that don't know who Chuck Berry was. He was a pioneer of rock the and roll music. creator of rock and roll. He passed Damn. away this Saturday, March 18th. Authorities said no autopsy is necessary because he died of natural causes. He was 90 years old. If you don't know any of the... Oh, he was so fine. See, look when he was young. My gosh. Yeah, he back when handsome. he was killing him. I saw them videos. Elvis was stealing him. I Elvis, wonder if them old uh, sex tapes real. They what? said... Oh, yeah. No, all of them say... all. He was other, farting in them bitches' face. Oh, my. He was doing all kinds of stuff. No, they said that he was a lot of other uh, artists. That bitch went down there. He said... <laughs> Hey, bitch! Hey. It's true. A That's lot of other artists. This shit from. A lot it's of other artists. Real. No, listen. A lot of other artists have said that he has been, always been known to be a so-called freak, and he's never hidden that. I mean, look. One of his main hits was "My Dingling." That was a big hit of his. That was his, he had a song my called "My Dingling." My Dingling. You never heard that one? It's hilarious. Just because you listen to these motherfuckers. What? My dad used to, and I used to hear it. Johnny, mm-hmm. be good. Your, your daddy used to listen to my dingling. All the all Chuck Berry stuff. My favorite in particular is a song called No Particular Place to Go. Of course, you remember that one. No Particular Place to Go. Yeah, I remember that one. You bullshit. Right. But anyway, so there you Sing go. Sing it, D. Yeah. Do you know this shit? I don't know none of these really? records. Really? See, because I, I listen to everything. Even old swing from my grandpa used to listen to big band music. Do you know all them old songs I do. and shit? I, I really do. I love Sing it. Sing it, D. Nope. Do you know the whole Sound of Music soundtrack? I do not. I don't know any of that. You do. I really don't. I, don't, I, I swear to God, I don't. I ain't I don't never seen that, that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, so there we go. Rest in peace, That's man. That's right. Rest Chuck in peace. Berry. They say Elvis stole a lot of his hits. A lot. Yeah, yeah, a I lot believe that shit. What there, was that yeah. other dude? Great Balls of Fire? That white boy? Which one? Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry, Jerry Lee Lewis. Lewis. Yeah. All the motherfuckers was stealing. Yeah. Was they? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great Balls of Fire. Jerry Lee, uh, him, Chuck Berry, Little Richard. Little Richard just, he got on the. They was stealing all them niggas. He shit. got on the media and he said that he lost one of his best friends. They were really they were close friends. Hell yeah, they've been robbing Ooh. them dudes since little the Richard beginning. And Chuck Berry. Oh, Little Richard still little alive. Richard, right? You yeah, got white people. And then, How is that his best friend? You saying Chuck Berry fuck with them boy? You can be friends with somebody if you cannot on that be side. real close with a homosexual man without if being a homosexual. The same lane of music and there the that fuck are you talking Come about? On, cut it if out. you Sorry. have a best friend that's homosexual, chances are you homosexual. Oh, stop! What are you talking about? Homosexuals only back saying like in no, man listen. world. No, in man world. Back men then, are just in those not, days when it was saying. very. That's quick. when it was real. No, like, but listen, when they I don't not, fuck with you. No, we're talking about musicians. That's back when you could say faggot without the backlash. You a faggot. Stop. Or a fairy or queen. Remember they used to call them all what that? They, what them old Get your sis ass out of here. Yeah, no. Get real. your queer ass the fuck out of my house. Stop. I didn't do nothing. 
You fucked a man. You did do something. You're a goddamn adulterer. You's a sissy. That's what you is. Like <laughs> a straight up yeah. sissy. You going to hell. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's true. But anyway. So In a handbasket, no, nigga. Said that he lost it. Back then, there wasn't that many. Get your shit. jive turkey ass out of here, boy. Oh, I give up. God, I can't even speak. Anyway. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You a sucker. You a fool. You a fool. That was the biggest diss ever. You a fool. You must think I'm a fool. I know a fool when I see one. The eyes always buck when they say it back in the day. I ain't no fool. You a fool. Just a straight up fool. You a boy lover. I'm thinking, trying to think of old school what slang. What type of evil is that? A boy lover. You's a fool. You a jive ass queer. That's what no, you are. I'm not mad. You got another one in there that's talking like you. I've just got a sinus headache. So. You got a sign of headache. Sinus headache. Well, it's sign like right in here. It's right there in the face. Right the in there. Man. And then with you yelling and all that bass, it's just doesn't You a feel fool. Good. That's why. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. You done? Yes. And I have the shout outs again. They'll be posted up in the break. <clears throat> Thank you again. The shout outs for who? For the folks that uh, support the 5150 by buying the gear. That's what's yeah. up, God damn it. Yeah. Good looking out, nigga. We need you, God damn it. I actually arranged a meetup in person with somebody, bought a book as well, and, and bought Tree. a couple of t shirts. He's up in there, yeah. Shade yeah. Tree huh? Nicker. Yeah, he was so sweet. He was so kind. Fruit he turkey. knows who he is. You a bull dagger. <laughs> what? No, they that that's more current. That was that's not current. old back then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? They used to, what did they used to call them? Uh, and that was for girls. What yeah, they exactly. called girls back in the day? Bull dagger. Yeah, bull, uh, butch. What kind of bull dagger butchy, is butchy. you? Butchy. They used to say that. Huh? That was back in the back in the sixties. Butchy. butchy. Say jump. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just broke this. <laughs> no, earlier. Remember when you said something to me, and I said mother suckers. Mother sucker. <laughs> Somebody say Rudy, Rudy Ray Moore was undercover with that motherfucker. Rudy. Dolomite. Yeah, he's everybody. A lot of people brag on that pussy, but they ain't talking about that ass they be tearing up around here. Oh God, that's the Hollywood shit. We brag on 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 pussy, but we don't be telling motherfuckers about them. But them balls to be hitting the back of our leg. Mm. What? The <laughs> niggas out here, they don't they don't talk about that shit. Just like a lot of comics on stage this talk about right here. A lot of comics on stage be talking about uh 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 uh, uh smoking weed, and I be like, motherfucker, you don't just smoke weed. Why you brag on weed, nigga? You a dope fiend. Oh. <laughs> Somebody what? said our leg. That's what I said. Oh, I said yeah. That ain't yeah. sour. Fuck y'all, nigga. Uh, Look, niggas yeah, is like, yeah. what the uh, fuck? I'm 100 percent man. He meant he man on a male. Look, leg. everybody That's like, what? That's right. What the fuck? Look, some nigga said R. Some nigga spelled it wrong. Come on, he's, this nigga, he's probably <laughs> who is we? Probably <laughs> left school in eighth grade. Nigga I'm just, cracking a joke, nigga. I don't give y'all. a fuck. <laughs> I ain't never had a naked man in a room with me. I stopped taking showers at school for that shit. <laughs> nigga, pause. You said Ooh. Howard, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so? Booger Sugar. That's dope, ain't it? Ah, he said, you slipped. <laughs> I Cor- slipped. Corey Holcomb <laughs> once again. <laughs> Get your man up. Hey, nigga. Get fuck. your man up. <laughs> Niggas out of bounds. Hey, nigga, fuck y'all, <laughs> nigga. Who leg? <laughs> Uh, Who man? I leg. Nah. <laughs> Who he with? Yo, Corey. <laughs> Fuck y'all, nigga. <laughs> uh, I don't worry about shit like that, goddamn. Scared it. shit you've ever said, Corey. You ain't gonna <laughs> never. You ain't gonna never hear no nigga coming back talking about I no motherfucking foul play, Corey Holcomb yeah. shit. Now, how many of you niggas could say that? Mm. All you niggas who go to jail talking about nigga, but I was in jail though. Oh, gay for the no. state, uh-uh. right? Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't do that no. I ain't do that since I've been out. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's the culture in there. Right. <laughs> nah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> if you was there, you'd have did it too. <laughs> uh. Fuck y'all, man. Shit, nigga. We sit my own time. Balls on your leg. Nigga. <laughs> 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 Somebody oh, say Corey like that fudge. Fuck all y'all. Coy admissions. Coy admissions. Fuck y'all, nigga. Oh, the real yeah. McCoy. 
<laughs> Corey Bellafonte. Corey Bellafonte. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, fuck God, nigga. <laughs> oh, the high heat is. I can't. The hey, motherfucking go- chat room goons is going crazy. Fuck y'all, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> My asshole has never been entered. <laughs> never. Just by his own It still hurt the shit. To clean it, the Twizzler just by his own. Shit. That's why I drink smoothies, goddammit. I'm trying. Corey Hulk. Oh. <laughs> oh. Corey Cone. <laughs> Corey Cone. <laughs> I can't. Oh, shit. What's in your meat wallet? Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Morris Vegas said that's uh, it. Anyway, all right, right we're going to get ready to take a break. We shall return, motherfucker. Yeah. Also, <laughs> listen, on our tour, we want to start using our artist's music. We really need to start getting, we need you to, if you want us to play your uh, music on the tour, the um, the Comedy's Most Wanted tour with me and Lavelle, I'm mm. willing to do that. Oh. I'm willing to do oh, that. Dope. What do you mean, like when in between, like the, the people who listen to us, but the artists, but we need we uh, tomorrow. Mm. I'm going to take a day to come in and and download all of the music that is sent. Ooh, that's a lot. To mm-hmm. uh, Frank, what are they sending the shit? Seahawkum, fifty-one fifty. Seahawkum, fifty-one fifty show, C-Hulk-um 5150 show at gmail dot com. I'm mm-hmm. going to listen. You have to say in the email. Corey, it is all right for you to play my original music on tour. Mm-hmm. On tour, you have to say that for me to do it, and um, you transfer it and then take it with you, or something. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, we had some we had some good music that people sent to the show. That song "Ape Doo Doo" is one of my favorites. Oh my Ape god, Doodoo. Yes, Ape Doo Doo, Ape Doo Doo, yeah. Nigga, that shit is good. Yeah. And you ain't gonna get no. You can't find no level of visibility this good on a tour, comedy tour. Hey man, listen, but please send the good shit. Don't send the whack shit because don't be asking me how was it because you will see how was it because I'm gonna play it, Nick. Also, we have some some videos that some of the the ladies sent in. Videos? Well, it it has to be. It has to be original music for me to play it. It can't be the samples that are not. Um, sanctioned by right. the yeah. other people, it has to be original mm-hmm. music. And you have to give up your, you know. Somebody say, "Hey, doo doo is trash." Get the fuck out of here. Exactly. Who said that? Harmony Crown? Oh no! Get your Harmony. hating ass out of here. <laughs> I love Harmony. It's all she right. You get to you get to not like a good song. <laughs> she said, "Hey, doo doo is trash." She don't get like the it. fuck it's out of here. It's funny, it goes with the show. It's funny. Maybe her shit stink. I'm just fucking with you, homie. Stop. That's anyway. our homegirl right there. Yeah, she always, she support everything we yes. do. Yes. Um, all right, so we'll be back <laughs> taking a break. When we come back, we're going to have a powerful segment that's going to really rock the show about some shit that I found out about how they turn women against men when they go to the state and ask for help. All right, 5150 when we return. Mm.
Yu-Gi-Oh gonna be fine.
video gonna be fine.
<clears throat> Welcome back to the 5150 show, ladies and gentlemen. I am Corey Holcomb, and this is Zoe Williams, and this is Darlene O.G. Ortiz, and we are the 5150 crew, and we are here for your entertainment and amusement and learning and enlightenment <laughs> and company. A lot of you motherfuckers ain't got no company and shit. Lonely niggas. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. This nigga is sitting up in their drawers right now. Scratching on themselves. Right. Pardon. <laughs> <laughs> Getting their check very own. So I know somebody who um, applied for. Um, uh oh. Here comes the jewels. For what? Uh, public assistance? Support? Oh, public assistance. Oh, not child support. Okay. And when you apply for public assistance, they want you to set out any man that you have been around <laughs> at all. Go get him. Because we don't want to give you all of it. We want somebody else to help with Bring that. Bring him too. back yeah. to us. Yeah. Um,. I have one of these questionnaires with questions on here. Oh no, do you? And mm. you won't believe the shit. Let's 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 reveal the shit right now. When did you begin dating the father of your child? Mm. When and which city did you last Wait a minute. When wait a minute. When and which city or town did you first have sexual intercourse with the father? Wow. You lie. They ask that. And not- if you don't answer this, you will not get they just asked, Assistance. when did you fuck this dude? What town and what city did you fuck him in, basically? Wait, see, you think these are the bad questions? Oh, these are, I'm starting off with the nice questions. Wow. Wait, you ready for this? Please give the names and addresses of people, friends, relatives, neighbors, landlord, who have seen you with the father <laughs> and where they saw you. This is what they ask the women to fill out. You think that's bad? It gets worse. Oh. Did you ever register at a motel or hotel with the father? If yes, when and where? It is on there. You think I'm bullshitting? When these women go ask for public assistance, they want all information about the dad. And this is the wow. state of California Health and Human Services Agency. Wow. Please give the names and addresses of anyone who saw you there together at a hotel. Wow. Did the father use any birth control method? If yes, please list the ones he used. <laughs> what was the date of your last menstrual period before this pregnancy? This is what they asked women to fill out before giving Assistance should get worse. Hold on. <laughs> this shit is this is already bad now. Was the father informed of your pregnancy? Who else was present when he was informed? Did you ever discuss your pregnancy condition with the father? Did the father ever pay or promise to pay any other money to you during your pregnancy? Mm. Wow. Ching ching. Don't ching ching us, my nigga. <laughs> Does the child resemble the father? You lie. What? That is good. Damn, cr- am I lying? Does the child resemble oh the father? Oh my god. What? Has the father ever claimed the child on his income tax? Hold on. Wow. They got they got wow. worse questions. They got- Wait, and all, it's not even for specific this isn't for child support. This is just for her for public aid? Period. This is for public aid, I think. Wow. Um, hold on. I'm looking for this one question I saw the other day. Were you married when you became pregnant? You see one? Were you married when you became pregnant? What was that one you said? Well, that ain't so bad. Were you married? No. On here somewhere, I'm going to find this question where they, they asked the woman about not just the father, they asked the woman about anybody she slept with and do you have their names and addresses? So just in case it's not, so we're just going to keep, look, we're just going to look for the father right. of this We're just going to put a case on somebody. Anybody who a woman puts on this paper 
it's it's word is bond. It's like it's valid. But even if you don't put it on the paper, but they want to find out who these, the father of they all these children. They want to know what children. you've been doing. Because they're gonna go after them. They don't want to help you out. They'll go after them first. That's pretty much how it's been. I, I I'm I'm looking for this question. I know I saw the question. Wow. Huh. That shit's crazy. Hmm. Did you have sexual intercourse with anyone else during the month, the month before, or the month after you became pregnant? If yes, give names. Speak on it so we can nail all these niggas. We gon' it's a it's it's a paternity lineup. Were you and the father ever married? Did you and the father ever live together? If yes, give dates. I mean, like, these are questions that I think people need to know that women are being asked when they go get public assistance. And if you don't fill this out, they'll say you're not complying. You don't get no help. No, mm. we're, not get, we're not feeding you. Or Fuck that you baby. and your kid. Damn. If this ain't an attack on him, if we listen, I have the means to help you. But you got to help me too, baby. We got to make sure. <laughs> no, we don't want to help you. So we got no, to make sure it's... that the man is in the hole. Yeah. Mm. Finish him. Before we give you some money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even got, though we say we're going we gonna to claim that we give you money anyway. But we're not going to tell you what we expect you to do mm. to get this money. Mm. So from what I understand, and I don't know if this is true. You can say, I don't want to name my my, my child's father because it will interfere with their relationship. Now, I don't know how true that is. If they just really need support, if they really need help, in other words, without, I don't want to put him on that. That's what I heard. I don't know. I don't don't know know how true that is. But I'm saying, this is divide and conquer. Oh, for real. Yeah. This is a system set up to make it where families are not on the same page, are not fucking with each other. They want you to put a case on the person that you have a child by if you want some money Mm. from us. That is divide and conquer. But you know, some will say, well, what about... You know, taking care of the kids. It's his responsibility. He helped create this situation. I'm in a bind. I got to do something. What happens when they say that? Well, I'm going to tell you like this. Mm. Every case is his own case. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the bottom line is they don't have questions for, 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 for... No. I don't see father or mother on here. No. I see father. What do men do? Yeah, they're not asking questions about when was the last time you worked? Where do you work? What's your education? What's her education? Nothing. They're not not asking anything on her part. Another great point. But I'm saying it's all against the man. Yeah. Even a a group of men in one of them questions... Who so, did you have sex so with? Saying you're a and whore, you right? Have, <laughs> were you hoeing around, bitch? And, who, and what's their names? We'll go get all of what them. What hotels y'all registered <laughs> right. in together? We'll go get all they of them. They tracking hotel information. <laughs> These motherfuckers are the devil. Nah, you can't mm. run on that. These motherfuckers are the devil. So many families in poverty are split up yeah. over this. Yeah. Mm. I'm saying, like, people who don't need money would not be down filling out nothing like this. They would see it as disrespectful. Yeah. They would see it as degrading. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. But but poor people, that's a lifesaver. You have to divide your family. Mm -hmm. If you want us to help you, he will not be happy with you. Mm. All that shit about. What he supposed to take care of your business and all that shit? The world is in chaos right now. Hmm. The world is in chaos. Women mess with people they ain't got no business messing with. Men mess with people they ain't got no business messing right. with. But to put it all on the man 
is wicked. Well, it makes sense. You got a private prison industry that always needs prisoners. Do you have to check that out? Yeah. Okay. And then there are a lot of men out there mm-hmm. who, Sorry, guys. shit, if you fall by the wayside on that child support shit, there's a chance you can go straight to jail. Yes. So, I know brothers who have been put in on. jail because they have children and they are poor. Come on, man. That is the only reason they're in jail because they have children and they are poor. But those private prisons benefit from that, too. If you have a job, they can take the money out of your job. Yeah. So you don't go to jail. You just work for nothing. Right. But if you don't have a job in a place where, as a black man, you're not even allowed to speak up for yourself. If you don't have a job. Cancel your license. And you have a child. They yeah. take you to jail for that. Yeah. They get the woman to fill out bogus paperwork like this. <laughs> and I'm not even reading all of the shit. Why do you believe this person is the father of your child? That's what they ask the woman. Why do you believe? What is the answer to that? How can you answer as a woman when somebody says, well, you got to fill this out or we're not going to give you no money? Well, I have faith. Why do you believe this person <laughs> is the father of your child? They want you to answer that fucking degrading ass shit. I have faith that it's him. <laughs> Because he put that wood in this womb and didn't pull out. Or so he thought he didn't. (laughs) How else can you answer a question like this? When did you begin dating the father? It's disrespectful. I never dated him. He fucked me one day after the fucking Jeezy concert. I don't know him. When you so began this, this dating the father, when did you begin dating the father of your child? He never took me out on a date. He came to my house, fucked me, I got pregnant. Mm, mm. It's all disrespectful shit. Well, information that you shouldn't have to share mm-hmm. to, to get aid for your child. It seems to be written like it's a like it's a application, a job application. You ready for this? <laughs> when... And in which city or town did you first have sexual intercourse with the father? I don't know the city. We just stopped when we saw rooms for $25.99. The fuck are you talking about? Free HBO. (laughs) Crazy. Man. Please get the names and addresses of people, relative neighbors, who saw you with the father and where they saw you. So they're going to call people and be like, did you see her with him? Uh, yeah. What do that mean? Crazy, man. It sounds like a version of the FBI for child support. Like, we're going to go find these motherfuckers. We're going to send our agents out to go find niggas. That's terrible. So you can get a check. Wow. For your irresponsibility. Wow. And people will say, oh, it's the man's... We're equally responsible. But is this paper, is this application, is this job application written like both people are being held accountable? Nah. Just go get that dude, wherever, whoever that dude is. Give us the information on your child father. And his friends. And we'll give them. you these food stamps. Wow. And this little amount of cash per month. So your child can at least burp the first two weeks of the month. Wow. Set him out. Set him out. What the fuck is that, man? Wow. And this shit ain't no motherfucking thing that's on 60 Minutes or nothing like Set that. Set him out. Ain't nobody saying how unfair this is. Everybody just acts like this shit ain't happening in the world. It's designed that way, though. Classism Div- and, and the private prisons. and Divide and conquer. Just de- it's designed to keep it people It only down. interferes with poor people. Yeah. Who's the poor people? People like you and me. Most black people. A lot of like a lot of black people that I got to get you with my homeboy Antonio Moore. Antonio Moore be calling it out and he got all the information, very educated brother, intelligent brother, lawyer. And he talks about how man, like black people own less than 1% 
of the land in America. And he said black people collectively, that's Puffy, all the entertainers, that's everybody. Anybody that's wealthy, Oprah, every, less than 1%. I live, wait a minute, I'm from Chicago, right? Right. Okay. I don't know a lot of people that's doing well. I'm just keeping it real. Right. I don't know a lot. I know I know a lot of people who work. Yeah. But the baggage that has been tied to their hands through paperwork like this <laughs> makes it where you're the working poor, no matter what your wage is. You're just maintaining where you are. You have enough money to get to work and come back home. Yeah. Because we have paperwork set up. Because that's just one form of paperwork that mm-hmm. they hit you with to dig in your pocket and make you counterproductive even though you work every day. Mm-hmm. We have paperwork set up to fuck your life up. Did you participate in anal with your child's father? <laughs> Question number 25. Wow. No, and you know what's crazy? The dudes who are on child support, they don't even talk about the interest that they put on whatever the amount is you have to pay. So if they determine your amount is $750, that and it also comes with a 40% tax on that. So if you pay $750, you still haven't paid the the um, the interest. That's something else. The interest is always accruing too. They put an interest off you having a child on the planet. Shit is crazy. You have a child. You have a child? Yeah. We're going to tax you for having a child in this country. Right. You don't have a right to have a child. Unless we can make money off your child. And motherfuckers will say something about what certain criminals are doing in this world. Man. This is criminal behavior right here. This paperwork is criminal behavior. Yeah. And look at you. You say you busting your ass. I got to pay this 750. I got to pay this 750. I got to pay this 750. But if you're not paying that 40% APR that's attached to that 750, your shit is not moving. It's going up. It's not going down. Your shit ain't moving. It's going up. These motherfuckers I said are geniuses something. at maintaining the poor class. Keeping you in a fuck situation. Oh, yeah. By the time you get out of debt, if you're still able to work and you ain't dead from some type of disease that came from the pills, ulcers and everything, all the shit that happens to us mm-hmm. when we take pills, you old. Right. You, you, you in your late 50s, 60s, that's when it's only you. Yeah. And they know you being old, your family, we have turned you against them <laughs> and turned them against you. You have nothing. <laughs> but if you rich, this doesn't affect you like this. In fact, if you Caucasian and rich, you don't even go to jail like regular people do. But motherfuckers out here are going to college to get an education that only makes it more money for them to chop up when you make a family. It's only more money for them to chop up. Okay, if you have a degree of a certain magnitude, that degree makes it where it's more money for them to put interest on they gonna get in the up. court because we know <laughs> the woman, the woman that is around you, we're going to bank on the fact she ain't got your back. Ooh, or she won't have your back the whole time or at some point in time, she going to turn on your ass and we going to back her play. We banking on the Ooh. fact that the woman you with is going to come to us and set you out. Oh, because that's the way it's set up. You got to set him out if we're going to help you. If we're going to do for you now, you got to set him out. They going to set you out. <laughs> Y'all not together no more. You done moved on. 
you done found a life with another woman. Whoa. She see you happy. Right. What a bitch gonna do? What a bitch gonna do? Gotta set him out. That letter coming. <laughs> and then, whatever they consider to be the arrears. She went and filled this out. <laughs> and if it's a fake bitch, she gonna act like she don't know why they coming at you. Wow. If they coming at you, she filled this bullshit out. Instead of saying, I don't know who my father, my child father is. I fucked him one time. I don't know him. I didn't even know his name. His name is Ghost Dog. That's how a bitch could save the neighborhood. Ghost Dog. You can still get the money if you don't know who your daddy, your father daddy is. I mean, your baby daddy is. But some niggas, this is what they do, Zo. You ready for this shit? Revenge. This is what they do. It ain't just that. Mm. It ain't just the bitch hustling. If you at the hospital, when your child is born, these people are there. From day one. Telling you to sign the birth certificate. Mm -hmm. They there. We need that contract signed. You a young man. You don't know no better. Right. It's your baby, so you've been told. You gonna sign it. Gotcha. Taxation with no representation. Got him. You just signed a contract. You doing business, my nigga. They at the <laughs> hospitals as the babies are born. Wow. Making you sign your... I don't give a fuck if you just graduated from Yale. You signed this shit, boy. Got you, nigga. <laughs> she had that baby in this hospital. We gave that baby shots. Well, that baby going to get sick eventually. We call it immunization shots. But that's Set get up. the baby sick shots. Set up shots for later. Right. You going to need us, boy. That bitch trusted us to put a needle in that baby because we said it's an immunization shot. God damn. Sign this. Because we're going to hustle y'all insurance. As the baby gets sick, you going to get sick. Your mama didn't know that. When she, when you gave, gave when they gave you them shots, talk about oh this so you won't get chicken pox. This a this a flu shot. They don't know we shooting virus in you. They trust us. You are gonna need us later on, and we gonna capitalize off your insurance with this chemo motherfucking shit we got going on. Wow. <laughs> and we run the shit. We the white people of this motherfucking country. We have found a way. We don't need jobs in this nation. We need y'all to work the bullshit labor we got set up for y'all. And we gonna hustle y'all. We gonna hustle y'all. <laughs> That's funny. That's what they do. Wow. All these companies, we hustling y'all. Your woman thinks she did something by putting you on child support when all she did was destroy the legacy of you and her child together. Because you ain't going to fuck with her after we get through with your ass. You're going to be like, bitch, did you do that to me? <laughs> you fucked me up like that? You put them people in my life? Y'all going to hate each other. And the child going to grow up with hate. Wow. A hate-based life. That's why we got to get to the youngsters now. Male and female, strap the fuck up and stay strapped. Be Listen. A lot of times, man, because we come from broken hoods and broken homes, we try to fucking, you know, have a family and do all that shit, man. Somebody better, said I get my information from YouTube. What I'm saying you better go see get the my world. Information you better from get YouTube. education. You better see the world. You better, you know, don't just I get my do information some haphazard from bullshit, man. Stay strapped. Look. Hey, have sex with Whoa. a girl, put on a condom. Have sex with a boy, make him put on a... But carry condoms with you, girl. Like, shit, that's what that's I a, That's that, a solution, but... We need to teach our youngsters... Somebody said child support equals generational wealth. God for, dang. For white, for white people? I'm talking about the people... I'm not talking... And, I, and when I say white people, I'm not talking about the white people that... You see every day. I'm talking about the white people at top, at the top. Yeah, yeah. 
the leadership of this country. Yeah. They live, they don't even have their taxes go through this country. They got companies in other countries, mm -hmm. which is tax evasion. Right, right. But they don't, they're not part of the law. Right. They don't get charged like shelters. Like and you and Hillbilly Bob get charged right, with that right. shit. Blind corporations. And, right. Yeah. It's, there's some people in charge of this shit who live in above the law. But when it comes to procreation, I know that most of us don't know how to pick a partner that's down with you. That's hard. We ignore the signs. What are the signs that we ignore the most, Corey? Oh, let me show you right now. <laughs> let me show you something. Now, I'm a man, so a lot of my arguments are based off man shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man ideals. Concepts. Yeah, man ideals. I understand. I'm flawed. I'm not perfect. But I'm looking for this one thing. Uh, it's right here. We don't know how to look. I'm talking about most young brothers. Mm -hmm. We do not know how to look for a quality woman. We do not know how to look for a woman of morality. What are the mistakes we make? The top. We will see bipolar, clingy, um, arguing all the time. Uh, Aggressive. Bitched and keyed your car up before. Bust your windshield. Um, Insecure. Want to fight other women yeah. over nothing just because she see the bitch and the other bitch is cute. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 jealousy. Yeah. Um, bitch, jealousy you, over nothing. Over nothing. Mm -hmm. And you see it and you still... Stay with that person Keep fucking around. when you see that this person is not somebody that you need to try to build a legacy with. Wow. But she cute. Big butt and a smile. She cute. You don't want to let her go because somebody else going to have her. Even though everything inside you, which is God, will tell you. Don't do it. You ain't got no business around this person. Right. Don't do it. You ain't got no business around this person. If you around this person, you are this person. Ooh. Whether you want to admit it or not, you might not be the way that person is directly, but indirectly, that person does something to you that makes you stay around them. That's why. And it happens to all of us. Right. That's because why that's we don't have the village put together to oust the Stephen A. Smiths. The 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 Steve Harveys. The 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 There's more. I mean, do I have to keep going the Housewives of Atlanta bitches? Just all wretched good for nothing bitches. Right. They've never done nothing but brought drama to us all. But motherfuckers will fuck with one of them. And what makes it so bad, most of them hide how they really look as they go to the beauty supply mm. and buy hair extensions and makeup and all this shit that make them look a certain way. But when you ever see them in the hospital, how they really look, because that's normally when you see a lot of women, how they really look when they're in the hospital. So I'm going to ask you this. The bitch ain't even worth it. So let me ask you this then, Corey. You be like, I fell in love with a beauty supply. How do we teach young boys... To look past just the physicality of a girl, the ass on a girl, what should he be looking for in a girl who can actually do something for him other than just fuck him? Who, who can be something more to him other than just Before fuck him? we were brought here to this land where we were made to bill it for free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And they taught us about Jesus Christ and all this shit. I believe I'm right with that. Is that factual right there? That's factual yeah, shit. Yeah, we didn't used to that. live this way. Right. From what I have researched, what I understand, you grew up in a village, 
and there were different rituals you did as you were a young boy Rites to of grow into a man. Rites of passage. Yes. So that your place in the village is justified. He earned it. Right. Right. He earned his place here. We don't have that here. He passed the trials. Right. All we have here is women who filled out this paperwork, mm. talk bad about the man that they had a baby by. You mean that they chose? The man they chose okay, cool. to be impregnated by. Wow. They talk bad about him in public on this paperwork and to the child. So as the child grows up and develops, he's bitch made. How can you blame somebody for something you co-created? I this, get what you're saying. This paperwork is does to, not call the it, person who helped create the situation. It don't call them out. It calls out the man. It the only father. It speaks from the gender side. It doesn't speak from the responsibility side. How'd you get here? How'd you get to this point where you have to go get some paperwork? Somebody say Darlene filling out that paperwork right now in the other room. <laughs> That's what I'm just saying. Like, the way Corey is, is breaking this down, and I appreciate this conversation, we want to keep a fucking class of people in a space. Right? We're not going to teach personal responsibility. We're not going to teach personal accountability. We're not going to teach, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, reproduction, what is it, uh, Reproduction responsibility where, hey, man, if I lay down with this person unprotected, you know, the chances are we could have a baby. The pullout method is 85 percent accurate. So that means 15 percent of the time somebody going to get pregnant. We got to teach the boys how to look for something different in a woman. But we also got to teach the girls how to look for something different in the boys. If we want to change the culture, we can't change no adults. Because adults are fucking rigid. They locked into the way they think. We got to get the generation coming up. I tell my daughter, know the difference between talent and character. See, a motherfucker could be talented, but that don't mean he got character. That don't mean he has integrity, morality, strength, purpose, call. That don't mean he got none of that. He might I be mean, write, 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 write them words down. Oh, I got the whole little shit for her. It should be it should be a homework assignment to learn the difference about character. That's why I say character morality and characteristics are two different things. If you talk to 90 percent of the women out here, you say what speaks louder? Actions or words? 90 percent, 100 percent of the women be like actions. No, intentions speak louder than behavior because I can intend to behave a certain way to get what I want from you. You got to be able to use your intuition to discern are those authentic behaviors or are those manipulative behaviors. We don't even teach this to the kids no more. Somebody put honor and somebody put loyalty. Honor, loyalty, those are, respect. Those are, those are things that mean nothing in society mm -hmm. because if they did, the 70% of the NFL players oh, would man. be standing up saying, you cannot dishonor this brother because he spoke up for himself and us. The young generation, the young generation, young men, you know, in their 20s, mm -hmm. have been brought up to think that long as it ain't happening to me, but it is happening to yeah. you. Yeah. It is happening mm -hmm. to you. Everything that your brother is going through. If it's happening around you. You're going through yeah. it too. <laughs> Man. It don't matter if he's gay. long as you don't bring that shit to me. If you work in an environment with a man who fucks men and want to justify it in front of you and make you a criminal or something wrong with you for looking at him crazy because he like to fuck men, it's affecting your life. It's just nobody got the guts to say that right now because the people who are homosexual are in charge. Right. The homosexual men 
are in charge of what's going on with a lot of laws in this motherfucking country. So when you at work, if you dare tell a man who is twitching and acting like a woman in front of you, hey man, you disrespectful right now. Right. Don't 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 be that way when you talk to me. Hey, let me tell you something. That's disrespect. To talk to me like that. Like you a woman. Right. Don't don't put a twitch in it when you talking to me. You flirting with me. Right. And I'm, I've been trained to think that nothing's wrong with that. No. That, when you talk to me, talk to me like a man. Right. Don't talk to me like a bitch. Right. Oh, something wrong with it, the dude who's... What's wrong with him? Right. He ain't bothering you. He's he just past. talking. He's in the past. Things have changed now. No, it's disrespectful. It's breaking down the hood. It's breaking down the community. You get what I'm saying? Right. And people will get mad at it. People will, be dis- people will say, you know, we old school or whatever. But at the end of the day, back in the day, before they came out of the closet, before they were allowed to do that, they knew not to talk to real men that way because they knew what could happen. You would get stopped in your tracks. Hold on. Don't come at me like that. You get what I'm saying? Right. The fact that you coming at me, you like finna that, start a fight you, for you talking. Trying to start some shit, right? <laughs> you finna start a fight. Don't talk to me like that. Talk to me like I'm a man, and you talk like you a man. Don't bitch up around me. I mean, and this is a real conversation. And a lot of people are afraid to have real conversations because they're afraid of the black the backlash. But I understand that you have a job to try to keep so you can feed your family, so you cannot talk freely. But you have to understand that's why you don't talk freely. Right. Because there is a gun to your head, basically. Right. You will be outcasted for speaking honestly in most situations in this country. That's how bad it got. Right. And this shit is so crazy. Even Disney, and you know, they put this big thing out. Oh, they just had their first same sex kiss. Please understand homosexuality is a sexual orientation that is now morphed into a human human rights issue. Not even cartoons are immune. Can listen, when we were little kids, there was no sexuality in cartoons anyway. It wasn't like cartoons was kissing nigga Thunder and the Thundercats and Space Ghost. These motherfuckers weren't sexual. You don't know where the fuck Bam Bam come from. You don't know what was going on. We the didn't Flintstone. know. Right. We didn't know. They just showed up. But now they're interjecting this. And like somebody said in the chat room, forced acceptance. You can't expect people to have a level of understanding if they're forced to accept. Understanding comes from being able to process, not, okay, I don't give a fuck if you process or not, accept it because that's what it is. Yeah. Man, I'm going to tell you something, man. I know why a lot of people don't, um, with this show, um, what is it when you want people to be um, registered or something like that? Um, uh, 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 I need, we need people to um, subscribe. Subscribe. There we go. A lot of people don't even want to subscribe to the 5150 show, but a lot of people watch it. Oh, yeah. More people watch than have subscribed. If they subscribe to the show, it's admitting that what they, this motherfucker believe, is talking yeah. about <laughs> right. is interesting to me. Right. So I want you to know, I understand why you don't subscribe. It's weak, but I don't hate you for it. Well, no. I don't feel like you're doing me wrong. You'll get your courage one day in life. One day in life, you're going to get the courage to do and say what you need to do. Even me to this day, I still have not gotten the courage to do everything I need to do. But most of the time, I can say what the fuck is really on my mind in most situations in my life because I paid the dues to be able to do that. You might be in a situation where you can't say what you want. Right. Do what you want. Subscribe to 5150 for your cowardly reasons. Mm. That's not a diss because I say it's cowardly. But I'm just saying it's cowardly why some of you guys don't subscribe. And I understand that. But it ain't right. 
So I will say this because they're bringing up right. some good points. What? Pepe Le Pew was a thirsty little motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Oh, he did a little French, yeah, little French skunk. The skunk. He was he was a little hypersexual motherfucker. And Bugs Bunny's ass used to always dress up like a woman and be fucking with uh, what's my man, uh, the stutterer, the one with the gun with the big ass head. Fall going leg on. No, the one who was chasing him all the time. Bugs Elmer Bunny? Fudd. Elmer Fudd. Yeah. yeah. So there are examples, but it wasn't hypersexual. It wasn't like, you know, we didn't see it as sexualized. Now, cartoons are, I mean, they even came out with a cartoon where a little kid was a superhero, a boy, who Elmer Fudd. That's right. A boy who turns into, as his superhero, a girl. That's his superhero. He, and I, I don't know about the cartoon, but nothing. It was on the Cartoon Network. Nothing makes me shocked about what goes on in Hollywood because I've seen the people in charge of, uh, in Hollywood. It's just those are homosexual men and they have the power. Bottom line. That's who runs Hollywood right now. So when you say something like that, get past the stage of, you know, it's pitching true. it. Yeah. Hey, what if it's a boy who can turn into a superhero girl? I like it. The powers that be. Right. And I understand the concept. The concept is we want to make these people who are recognizing that they have a conflict in their sexuality at a young age feel comfortable. I get it. Somebody say Foghorn was a racist. Foghorn was a racist. The chicken was Hulk. Wasn't he black? That little chicken hawk used to beat his ass, though. Didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, let, hey, let me double back real quick. Yeah, because you know we got to wrap it up in a minute. I said but something I, 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 uh, about the about what I say to my daughter, but I got shit I say to my sons. Man, my my oldest is in college. I say, man, every day I'm sending that in the morning. Motivational text messages. And at the end of all those motivational text messages, I'm telling him, nigga, cover your body in a condom. Because the reality of it is, you don't want no STDs. You don't want no child. You don't want none of that shit until your platform is built. Because any of that shit happening before you're in a position to really take full control of your life is a setback. And no setbacks, the way the system is designed, are not designed to be easily overcome. You, it's a Herculean effort to overcome that shit. You need luck. You need to get that, you know, a good job. It, you get locked in. You see? So I, I tell him, like, man. Look, let me tell you something. body, my nigga. It's very simple. Condo. My daughter's mother. Because I didn't know to do this when I was young. Mm-hmm. My daughter's mother is an ain't shit bitch who ain't gonna never be with no one man Mm. cause she's not capable of being around anybody. Don't work well with others. Mm. If you go to some motherfucking places where people lead a dog when they go out of town, some of the dogs have to be in putting cages around, I mean, away from the other dogs. Mm. They don't work well in the group with the other dogs. (laughs) I'm just saying, this is real life shit. But with human human beings... Mm. With human beings, we don't think like that. Mm-hmm. My daughter's mother was a ain't shit bitch who's lonely and by herself. That is some bullshit I'm finna say. But it's not meant to be disrespectful, but it's a motherfucking fact. Her mother was the same way. By her motherfucking self, mm. the man who I saw her with, she burned him down. I swear this is the truth. My daughter's mother, mother, they moved. She met a nigga in the new building and started fucking him and told the man that she was with to kick rocks. This is my word. I'm not making this up. But I was too young to process that and see. I'm not saying the lady is all evil, but I'm saying they just bitches who who, who take from the earth. You get what I'm saying? My son's mother, mother, was married. 
lived in a house. Family people. You get what I'm saying? Understand the meaning of family. They all together. Mm -hmm. The man, the woman, the kids, they did things together. They had a house. So they was taught that when you open the bottle of juice, you don't bust the bottle on the ground because they... They live in that neighborhood. They pay property taxes. I didn't know when I was younger that I was dealing with an ain't shit bitch. You get what I'm saying? Right. This is what I'm saying about when I'm you was talking you. about condoms. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. If you fucking with a bitch who come from instability family wise. She's modeled that. Chances are. She's going to be instable when it comes to you. Insincere when it comes to you. If she watch her mother start fucking other guys who live in the building, the new dude, the new rooster. The new rooster. That's what the fuck chances are she going to do. Not guaranteed, but I'm saying, if you're looking for a way to, oh, I'm going to bet on something. You better bet on that motherfucker that come from some type of stability and family shit because they might understand what family is and not take that for granted. But the average bitch who don't come from family and don't get real family around her, they don't give a fuck about you. They used to being on their own. They saw their mama do it a certain way. They could do it a certain way. So when you choosing a woman or a man, you need to see who they are and see where they come from before you try to commit to anything. If not, you will go through what I went through and so many other men, wow. the court system and shit like this. It's just I'm the coldest motherfucker in the world, so that funky ass bitch couldn't motherfucking <laughs> hold me back. These hoes can't hold me back. These ho <laughs> bitch couldn't get me like she wanted to. Because I'm a freelance motherfucker. I don't work for master. God damn it. Me and master kind of hustle together. They come up with fucked up ass rules to get money from me. We did the tour. Which tour? The one you... The tour we did in Indianapolis. Okay. So we was breaking down the paperwork. Mm -hmm. They charged us because we played music. Like music that's on the radio and everything. They charged us for that. Said it's a franchising fee. Oh. I say, so you saying the artist gonna get the money that y'all taking from us? Like this ain't this ain't the DJ because we had to pay a DJ too. This is just being able to play that music. Mm -hmm. This shit was thousands of dollars. Yeah, I was like, they charge for that. The club charged you? No, theater, the theater, the theater charge, and all them people. That's. They came at us like that. So they didn't have a license to play that music? No, 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 no. They That's create crazy. a reason to charge you for everything. If you playing uh, 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 Nas or, 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 or whoever the look common future, all the guys, they take money for that and say, oh, this is because that music is franchised. Are they going to give that music to the, or that money to the artist? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. They just act like they're going to do it. It's all a motherfucking dirty ass game. That's why I'm trying to, this is the point I'm trying to make with that. The bitch you got with you, ladies, the, the, the fool you got with you, let me say it in a nice way. Yeah, say it in a nice way. The woman you choose. And the man you the choose. The man you choose. Them motherfuckers better be somebody who got your back and they down with you. If you got them around you in any capacity more than picking them up, fucking them, and leaving them. If you got somebody around you where well, y'all going to concerts, uh, dinner, on a, on a regular basis. Outings. Right. <laughs> you better have a bitch who got your back with you or, or, or a man who got your back with you because I'm here to tell you. You are heading for that motherfucking setup. You heading for the setup, boy. You got a motherfucker around you who know ain't really fucking with you for real and ain't got your back. You know this bitch is unstable and you fucking with her for real? You are her job experience. Well put, Zo. <laughs> oh, this is a fucking job application. You her work. <laughs> you her work. They got it set up where you are her work. Wow. It don't matter if y'all ain't together. Hey, ma hey, ladies, 
who love your son. It don't matter if your son went to the best college in America. If your son ain't aware of this shit, if you don't have the courage to say, you better watch these bitches out here, even though I'm a bitch, I'm here to tell you, this is what we'll do to you. You have to talk to your son like that. Don't date nobody like me, son. Right. Ooh. Don't fuck with a bitch who get down like me. That's what we need. Bitches who motherfucking out here fucked up, you better tell your sons the danger they in you know or his legacy going to be destroyed. My nigga, do you know what's so crazy about what you're saying? That's part of my parenting. As a man, we teach men how to be accountable. So part of me teaching my sons and daughter is me owning my, my flaws in front of them and then me putting my flaws out in front of them as a as a as a tutor like this is what's wrong with me these are my limitations and let me show you you don't want to take these limitations on with you because it's going to fuck you up where you trying to go if you're not a parent who can be accountable for your own character flaws in front of your kids when was the last time your mama admitted she was wrong about anything when was the last time your daddy admitted he was wrong about anything? If you don't have parents that are accountable in front of the children, they're not going to learn what accountability is. Personal accountability. I made this mistake. I'm going to own it. Accountability and honor and all that all stuff. All that shit, man. And it needs That's how I to parent. be part of the community in order for us to stop having world star fights on camera. For It'll be sure. people breaking it up, saying, y'all don't be out here fighting like this. You don't do that. You saw the video, right? Yeah, I saw the video of the brother who walked up and, and told them youngsters what the fuck they needed to know and showed all the goofy motherfuckers. Look, look, look at him. Look, this nigga look, yeah. This what supposed you? to be your man. That's your man right there, ain't it? Right. He laughing at you, yo, because they all was bitch made, mm -hmm. bitch raised. That's bitch raised behavior. And and what a motherfucker do is be like, he said bitch. Yes, I said bitch. Because I'm trying to make the point. That's real. I'm not trying to lie and be phony about it. That's and not bitch. all women are bitches. We're right. talking about a specific angle. Just like all brothers ain't niggas. But don't act like you don't call certain brothers niggas. And no good niggas at that. Man, I, I found out that it is a whole generation of lost bitches when I got into an argument with a bitch on the internet. I found out there are so many women who want you to be respectable, but they're not respectable. Like, they don't even know how to come at somebody. Do you get what I mean when I say that? Even if somebody is wrong, they don't know how to not be wrong. I know right from wrong. I know how to approach somebody a certain way when I want to be respected when I want them to act a certain way, I found out, man, I'm just gonna tell you, man, it is these young bitches out here don't respect nothing. Where they get that from? Me and two, the young brothers out here don't brothers. respect nothing. Yeah. Where they get that from? I just think it's a cycle going back and forth. We lost some generations to drugs. We lost some generations to high uh, uh, prison rates or high recidivism rates. We lost some generations to high dropout rates. I mean, it's been a lot of bullshit happening in our community. And at the end of the day, it's created this negative cycle between black man and black woman. But what's really lost, Corey, is the fact that we don't love, cherish, and respect each other enough to say enough is enough. That's why I say, fuck talking to adults. We got to get to the children that are coming up. I do a lot of mentor work out in the community because I feel like if you say one positive thing to a kid that's living in a very tough environment with a very tough situation at home, if you can give that kid some kind of jewel, some kind of wisdom, some kind of insight for him to take back with him to that home, it'll change his life. Because I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen. Young kid that I mentored years ago. She married now. She was in high school when I was mentoring this young girl. 
married now, doing well. And she's doing what I was doing at her school. She's now doing it at her church, mentoring other kids. We got to get to the children. Adults are going to feel like they right. Adults are going to hold on to their gripes and their victimhood and the blame game. And that's why the adults are stuck. But the kids don't have to be if we can reach them. You know, I'm going to say this, man, because we can't go on forever. We got we to gotta wrap the show up in a little bit. Um, I was trying to wait and see if Darlene uh, had... Um, Darlene bullshit. She up one the of them, um, Hey, Genevieve, are you going to check and see if one of them things ready? Okay. <laughs> I was trying to wait and see if one of these things was ready because something is happening. You think you got one for us right now? Tonight that I'm very proud of. God damn it. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Uh uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it Somebody don't look told like me to tell you to put that uh, questionnaire on your Twitter. What questionnaire? This job application. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. I take a picture of it and put <laughs> it out there because I feel like it needs to be put out there. It's fucking terrible. It's a fucking divide and conquer type of thing. She said ten minutes. <laughs> hey Frank. Yep. Hey, do you, do you remember that song? Do you have a do you, can you bring up the song, uh, Yo Bitch Crib Chilling Out? Uh, yeah. Yo Bitch Crib Chilling Out. I was very proud of that song because I freestyled it. That's but let me crazy. tell you something. I want to say this another thing. They have different type of programs that you can use on. I, I want to talk about all young people who that ain't come out right. Let me say this. To everybody who is trying to to be an entrepreneur and run a business. Mm-hmm. You need a business line. You need a phone number that is dedicated to your business. Right. They have applications that you can put on your phone that will make it where you can have two lines on your phone. Different applications because if you're trying to run a business, you do not need people Funnel, yeah. calling you and texting you yeah. on your business line. Right. If it's not about business. If it's not about business. It's not about business. They shouldn't be able to reach you on your private line. If you run a business, you need another right. phone line for that. Right. And a phone line for your friends. So there's a whole bunch of applications. What's one of them? Um, I'm I'm not sure of the name of all of them, but mm-hmm. there's a a Google Voice line. Google Voice. But there's other ones that are way more advanced. Um, where it's like literally a phone line. You can cut the phone line on and off where it doesn't ring. Mm. Mm. That's this good. is what I'm going to do because I have to change my phone number. You always change your number. Now. I have to change my phone number again. <laughs> Because too many people have my business line. And they be hitting And it. they think. They can get it. I remember through. when I did TMZ. You know you did it. Through, I did it through the phone on Skype or, or you know, you the did? FaceTime. Yeah. Oh. I sat right here with my phone and did it. While I was on the shit. That's why you had the perfect angle of that shirt. Motherfuckers was calling me. Talking about whoop de whoop de woo And I was like. No. I I'm need another line. Right, right, I need right. a business line right. where the number ain't even really out there to nobody mm-hmm. but business. Right, right. Because during the show, yeah, I got I got motherfucking a whole bunch of nonsense that really has me pissed off mm. that I took a chance and kept this number as long as I had. I already know this number has been compromised. <laughs> I remember my baby mama put my, my number that I had for years oh. online. Mm. Just a hateful bitch. A bitch, I, I, my son, mother, I don't even talk to that bitch. I haven't talked to that bitch since my daughter was in high school. Mm-hmm. But she's, she's mad. She keeps, you know, the spitballs. She keep popping them at me, trying to get my attention. And you well, know, you what, know I'm what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bitch, I don't give a fuck about your life. I'm going to say this, Corey. <laughs> I'm just saying, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. You know what I'm saying. I mean that. So what I'm saying about this phone line is I'm about to change this number. People who know me and have my number, please forgive me because 
you don't wind up giving everybody the number right away that you be like, oh, you can have my number. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Because right, right. I, I I like interacting with my friends and right. people who are um, um in the um, circle. In the circle. That's how I look way at to put it. in the circle. But Riff Rav has gotten my number. Oh shit. Riff Rav has been <laughs> fucking with me today, and Riff Rav will not be able to get in contact with me through my phone. <laughs> Riff Raff. I will give him that extra number. That's what it's called. The only thing I give um, <laughs> Charles Barkley credit for, he said, I got a jackass line. <laughs> a jackass line. <laughs> hey, for people, when they want to get in touch with me, I'm not saying they're not important. But what I'm saying is, while I'm handling business, I don't want to have to worry about you right. until I feel like getting to you. Right. Some nigga said some cold shit one day, and I said that's one of the coldest things I ever heard. That motherfucker said, I don't take calls. I make calls. Well, we can end the show on that. I said, boy, that's some cold that's some shit. Cold that's some cold shit. He said, he was talking to a woman. I don't take calls. Bitch, I don't take calls. I make calls. That's cold right there. I can smoke a bag of that. That's some real shit. Yeah. And it ain't like I'm trying to be arrogant. Because I love to hear from, you know, the people. Good folk. The good folk. Yeah. Thank you. People with good intentions. Yeah. But when motherfucker, and I'm telling you something, male groupies exist. Yeah. Everybody, when you think of groupies, you think of a woman. That was past tense. There's some male groupies out here for real. There's some niggas where you be like, you for real, honey. <laughs> You done got this number, and you gonna play this you shit out. This motherfucker, ain't you, Corey? What you think about uh, Kaepernick? And I don't even fuck with you for real. You get what I'm saying? I don't know you, nigga. Oh shit! I done been on Twitter, niggas who found a way to get this number because I'm a good nigga, right? You know, I got love for my fellow man. I don't mind kicking it with my fellow man when I'm on Twitter. I'm working. They don't know that though. I'm working. Right. It's some motherfuckers out here who will not stop until they be like, call me. Or they'll be like, some nigga took a picture of some lady mm -hmm. that's supposed to be married to somebody in my family. I ain't never seen the bitch. Why does that matter though? This nigga done sent this picture to 50 different motherfucking. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm like, nigga, don't you think I seen that shit? I don't know who the fuck that is. But he gonna keep on till I motherfucking finally respond. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, how many times is you gonna send this picture? This bitch, I don't know. If it was my auntie or something, I'd have been like, yeah, that's my auntie. Whoop de whoop de whoop. Sometimes they just want a response, and you gotta remember, you're uh, you're a celebrity. But back in the day, it was harder to get to a celebrity. Now you got the internet. You got nigga the internet mix. Nigga, come here, my nigga. <laughs> right. Because I don't close down ways to get in touch with me. I'm approachable. Right. And I don't, I want to stay approachable. Right. But I will admit, it's some people out here mm -hmm. who will fuck with you. And when you say, why you fucking with me? They be like, get an attitude. oh, you Hollywood. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Hollywood. Now I've been on tour with you. I didn't see it happen. You don't get the fuck away from me with that bullshit. You'll be on stage, do your set, and you'll come out and kick it with the folk. Take pictures with 30, 40, 50, 60. I done seen it. They'll stop. If you not out there, everybody fucking with your shirts. Everybody over there fucking with the shirts, getting the shirts. They'll be fucking with Darlene, getting her book. They trickle over, fuck with me, get some books. When y'all with me, it's productive, ain't it's it? It's productive. Everybody eat, right? Right. You sell shit. Yeah. D sell shit. It be jealous, motherfuckers. Why you got Zodem with you? Why you got Darlene with wow. you? I done heard so much shit that make me... And look, these people think that they are credible people in your life. Right. And that you don't listen to that and be like, why the fuck you care? Who the fuck are you? Like, I don't wow. know what the fuck I'm doing. Wow. If I got somebody with me... They solid. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Right. If I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I'm going to stand up and be like, I fucked up. I bullshitted. I fucked up. But I got some envious motherfuckers Damn. who have access to me. I didn't know that. Envy. Niggas, you know, it's niggas who want to be on. But they not them type of niggas. 
They ain't gonna do nothing but come around and 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 fucking throw a monkey wrench. I got nigga. Why you ain't had me at the fifty one fifty, nigga? Oh, oh no, you ain't got them. Cause you wait, nigga. <laughs> you wait. You're an anchor. You heavy weight. <laughs> you got to be carried. Even when you try to act like you the homie. Hey, let me help with this. Let, no, nigga. That nah. ain't sincere. Right. Don't you know I got that eye, nigga? Right. You doing that shit so you can say, look what I did for you one day. Right. Right. I know 100 motherfuckers. This motherfuckers out here who do shit just because motherfucker, look, I was with you, GP. Right. I ain't going to never bring that shit up because I did the shit just because I wanted to do it. But motherfuckers who do shit for you so they could throw it back in your face one day, they think you don't recognize that shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I be like, you man. You can feel those kind of dudes, man. You can feel them kind of dudes. People. Them kind of women. Yeah, you can feel them kind of people. Women who work for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. You know I didn't have motherfuckers work for me, basically tell me I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But well, why am I where I'm at? They depending on me. How did I get here? I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. But I, you need me. How did I hire you? <laughs> just, been... just ain't shit motherfuckers. But they job is to tell you you ain't shit. And you, you this and you. What motherfucker? I'm not in the position you in. Because if I'm around a motherfucker that ain't doing right by me, I'm going to get the fuck away from him. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Man, I've been in positions like that where motherfuckers don't respect what you worked hard to get because it was easy for them to get it because they know you. It was well hard put. for you to get it. You grind. You, you did everything you needed to do to get to that level. And because they know you, they don't have to work as hard as you did to get the same spot. And so they don't respect it the same way you respect it. It's dirty, rotten, funky motherfuckers who just want to be around you to watch what you do. So one day they can have a chance to talk shit about what you do. Oh, yeah. Devalue what you do. But they'll take from you. Oh, yeah. Nigga. (laughs) Why you do that free motherfucking ass interview? That ain't making you no money. You don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I do this interview because this is part of the building process to get to the point where the money keep coming in. Right. But you don't understand that because you ain't shit. Right. Right. Without sugarcoating it. You ain't shit. Man, envy's a motherfucker, dog. And it's all around you. Envy's a mother a motherfucker who sit back and look at you and have so much disrespect for you to say. I can do what he do better. Well, wait a minute, nigga. What if what I'm doing is my purpose? Is your purpose to come and try to do me? Yes. Get your... They purpose is to come and do you and any other motherfucker that they have around them. Because you will be around a motherfucker and you will be like, everybody around you wilts. Have you noticed that? And they will act like you didn't even say that. I'm talking about niggas, bitches, ain't shit niggas, ain't shit bitches. They will wilt everything in their presence, but will still be able to point out your shit and everybody else's shit. But just watch what happens when everybody around you. Right. You drain everybody. But you my nigga. (laughs) You my nigga. I got love for you because I've been knowing you a whole bunch of years. You get what I'm saying? So I tolerate you. Yeah. I got love for you, you know what I'm saying? I see you, I fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? whoop de whoop de woo Right. But when you get a chance, you would try to break down my shit, but wonder why I don't never have you around my shit. That's what I, when I stand out in front of the clubs, mm-hmm. nigga, why the fuck, oh, nigga, so, so I, nigga, I, I, nigga, what a nigga got to do to get up on the show, nigga? <laughs> nigga. <laughs> what a nigga got to do to get up on the show? What's happening? Is it ready? Darlene, what a nigga got to do to get up on the show? <laughs> How much longer? She said two minutes. Well, God damn it, we going to wait these two minutes we out. Wait. It ain't like we bullshitting. I mean, we, we, we having some deep. We trying to show y'all, so we having real conversations. Man, we having some real conversations yeah, yeah. because, man, the trials and tribulations in my life is not, it's, it's my health. Mm-hmm. I have a stomach problem. Something is hurting inside me for years. I think it's just an ulcer. <laughs> Come from taking some bad medicine. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? I hope, I hope when I find out everything, God damn it. It's it ain't all good. Right, it ain't me wilting and dying. No, we good. I don't want to even gonna speak on I don't want to get the motherfuckers that hate me the opportunity to be like, Got his ass. He out of there, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I'ma die with a smirk on my face, nigga. I'm gonna be like nigga, I motherfucking gave you niggas hell the whole time <laughs> I was here, nigga. I didn't never bow down to that bullshit. <laughs> oh really? What is that? What does that mean? Sorry. What does that mean? What is that for? The, sh- the, the thing? Custom made colors. Oh. She spelled it in the English way. What's oh, okay. You no, no, no. It's cool. speaking English? The, the Queen's English? The king. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. I'm just hoping everybody who hang in there with me understand that I was trying to have a little surprise for all my 5150 folks. Um, you know what I'm saying? Early working like right. a slave right now. But um, um, you know, it's always little monkey wrenches that 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 come into the to play. But it never stopped nothing, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I if people saw what goes on with this thing, yeah, the behind the scenes, they would be like, "That's fucking amazing that he he able to keep this shit up." I mean. Me letting my folks in the chat room be who they are and say what they want to say. Right. That makes them feel good about fucking with me because I I meet these people in the streets. They're not perfect people. They the motherfucking real wild goon. Some motherfuckers. Real people. Ain't got no social skills, but they got love. <laughs> hey, nigga. Look, nigga. Hey. Nigga. They was at the show in Indianapolis. Turned up. Man, I saw so many motherfucking shirts that, that come from right here. They get mailed out right here, dog. I be yeah. like, wow, these niggas fucking with me. And I, I can't, I don't even know what to say. I be like, wow, this is some real shit that, yeah. that, that motherfucker happened. So I'm just saying, it's yeah. like. Ontario, Oxnard, Arizona. Them mm. motherfuckers was deep. Man, look. And they was real. Look, let me tell you something. What's happening right now, it's like it's taking long for this shit to, to, to get ready. It's some shit that I wanted she to said show. two minutes. I wanted to show everybody, but she said that. It's been two minutes. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not mad. I'm just Let's, I'm just saying. Guinevere. It's all the perfect plan. Yeah. We going to show the it, Im- It's the imperfect, perfect plan. Yeah. It's just going to take another 120 seconds. Guinevere. <laughs> Can you go get Darlene and Did tell you her say to Guinevere? Ain't that her name? I it's Genevieve. It was, I thought it, I thought it was Genevieve. Genevieve. I'm saying Guinevere like fucking nights in the round table. <laughs> That's Frank girl. That's Frank's wife. Right. Is that your wife, Frank? Yeah. You married? Unfortunately. You need, okay, see, Frank talking. She, she gone. <laughs> <laughs> Right. This Frank talking shit in her For all you motherfuckers who looking at the shadows, that's Frank back there, god damn it. Um, um, Frank be putting it down at the crib and shit. They go pee and fuck. And, uh, we might pee on each other, nigga. Right. This thing is real freaky shit going on with them two. It's some Adams family. Is it Jenna B or Jenna V? Jenna B. With a B-E at the end. With a B-E? Two more minutes. Uh-huh. She said two more minutes. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Hey, 5150, y'all motherfuckers gonna have to wait. Because I, you know, my man who fucking does this shit for me, he had issues where he got here late today. Right. And I'm really not trying to end the show until I get this shit. I can't believe this is gonna be one of the longest shows. Ever. Yeah. That's all right, but we kick some real game. I got some shit going on that I want to tell everybody about, nigga. And I know when I get this shit, y'all going to fuck with me. I'm on my way to China soon. Oh, shit. I got to go to China and get this thing. You um, big panda. You big, about to get All right. Panda. I got to get this thing perfected. Panda jokes. Look, Let's go, my nigga. Money I make. <laughs> money I make. Bam. I roll the dice with. Yeah. Because it ain't enough money to keep me fed forever. Yeah. So... I build up some money. You invest in yourself. And then I take a chance. That's right. I take a major chance. And what I'm getting ready to go to China and take a big chance on is some shit. I feel like 
a lot of people go motherfucking be like, oh, okay, I got to fuck with this nigga. Said we wait. <laughs> right. Show it, bro. Kung Fu Corey. Kung Fu Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Sweatshop. Corey Sweatshop. <laughs> Panda time. Blackzilla. Blackzilla. <laughs> <laughs> fuck y'all. Somebody say Hong Kong, you will love it. I've Slush never been hour. nowhere like that, but I'm not going to eat no frog that they chop up right in front of me. Snack Panda. They eat the frogs. They eat the frogs. The frogs still be alive a little bit, and they be eating what? them. Snacky Chan. <laughs> what was that? And where? Hong Kong. Oh, you know how to speak. You um, speak uh, Mandarin? Cantonese. Cantonese, Mandarin. Cantonese. Let Are you say serious? Something. Say something. Do you, do you, do you know a lot what? of it? Wait, come here, come here, here. Genevieve. Yeah, come here. here Fuck yeah. all that. <laughs> Genevieve, what? I want you to translate some shit for when I'm in China. I might need some help. Call this nigga no, Snacky Chan. Chan. So when I get there and I say, where the bitches at? How do you say that? <laughs> I'm not sure my grandmother taught me that's how right. to say Oh, that's, that's fucked that, up. Here we go. Let's go. Um, it's bitches in China. Hi, if you want to say where something is, hai pinto. Hai pinto. Yeah, so, pinto. What, so bitches. whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> bitches, hai pinto. Hai pinto bitches. Hai pinto. They gonna know what bitches are. Oh, bitches! Pinto is like where? Pinto. 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 Oh, that's, wow. We learning okay, some you shit. Okay, you said where. Where the bitches. <laughs> right. Where the bitches. I, I'll, I'll ask my where, how do I, I say to where say they sell the condoms in this motherfucker? How do I say that? Bindo, that's the where part. Bindo. Bindo. I is can, my is buy. So bindo, hai my. I don't know how to say condoms, so just say condoms. Bindo, they know what rubbers are yeah, over there. Yeah. Bindo, hai my. Bindo, hai my condoms, nigga. <laughs> Corey gonna be out there. <laughs> Bush. <laughs> he gonna offend everybody. Big no yo bitch yet. <laughs> well, pronunciation's pretty good actually. Like Am I know, saying it right? Like you, your intonation is, is pretty good. Bindo. 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 Okay. All right. Um, where the weed at? Where the weed at? Can you say that? They got a word um, for cannabis. Oh wait, wait, yep. Yeah. For um for hemp they say ma, ma like it's ma, similar to mama ma, but ma. it's ma, ma yeah what is it called ma ma like like a ma. seed bindo like ma. the seed bindo ma ma hey bindo <laughs> Corey stupid ma. bindo ma hey bindo, bindo ma. yeah we learning when I, when I go to China <laughs> thank you Genevieve bindo ma uh, bindo your ass the fuck off bindo your ass the fuck off Turn it in. Come Turn on, let's around. see it. Turn around. Let me see it before you come over here with it. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Y'all niggas going to love it. Are we going to have them tonight? Pindoma. They'll be on. I just have to hit one button. Pindoma. Come on over here, D. Pindoma. But hide it. Hide it. Hide it. Hide it. Hide Pindoma it. now. Pindoma. You buy now. You Pindoma. buy now. Pindoma, Pindoma. Pindoma womb. Oh. Buy now. Bingo room. You leave. You leave. No money. No buy. Bingo herpy. Bingo. Where's herpy? <laughs> Bingo herpy. That's the new shit. Bingo. <laughs> Wait. I want everybody to know that Bingo we have a, a shirt that we've been waiting on because they're going to be on sale. I got to get this one. And I this, 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 one. this shirt is I feel like gonna be another home run for all the people who know about fifty one fifty. Show them the shirt, D. Mm -mm. This is where we at. Bindama. Right. Yo, bitch, crib, chillin' out. Yeah. Yo, Yo bitch, crib, chillin' out. It's making me sandwiches. <laughs> Yo, we got the bitch carrying the sandwiches right there. 5150, right, Harvey. Got his shoes off. Wait, does he have right. feet on the Just buy and get out. <laughs> he got his Jordans over <laughs> here. <laughs> Yo, bitch, crib, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say women's sizes. Yeah, we going to get y'all some sizes, too. Yo, bitch, crib, chill, chill out, out, shirt. Nigga. Finally, it has been delivered. 
Thank you, Jose. Yeah. Jose. You have to get to create that. Corona. <laughs> Pino, Pino him some Corona. All right, so all uh, they're ready to go. I'm gonna Pino right. chilling out. They're gonna be on. The, they're gonna be on the site. We gonna go on here. Say bye to everybody, D, because well, I know bye, you gotta bye, go. All right, yeah, just that's dope. Right there. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah, we gonna end the show with that song. All right, so we gonna wrap this shit up. Thank y'all for being so patient. This yeah. is such a long show, but I was very frantic about this shirt. Uh, you dig? Because <laughs> I'm going to be wearing this motherfucker on stage in Buffalo this Friday. We coming to tear the motherfucker up. Comedy's Most Wanted Tour. Me, Lavelle Crawford, the homegirl Dominique, hey. J.J. Williamson, and D.C. Young Fly, my nigga with the tatted up face, god damn it. Real quick. Was that video altered? Which one? With Lavelle Crawford. What video? He did a video promoting this tour, and his head was pinched. Have right. you seen that? Yeah, he got a shark head, like you. He got the hammer head. It ain't quite like me. He got though. the traditional shark. <laughs> <laughs> you, got the, you got the great white. He got the hammer head. I'm just asking, was the video altered? No, God <laughs> He said no. The <laughs> hell got that shark head. He know what's up. Anyway. <laughs> hey, dog. Look, check it out, man. Y'all support it. I'm proud of this. <coughs> I'm proud of this. Look. Y'all support it. This was a long show, but it was a lot of good information given on this show. Oh, yeah. I want to say to the world, the world, the motherfuckers who hate me too, um, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> oh, man, let, me, let me promote my book real quick. Oh, go ahead, Zoe. God damn it. I need y'all to support this book. The Relationship Dismount, How to Stick the Landing. I only have 210 physical copies remaining. A lot of 5150 love has already been shown. People have been buying the book. But we only got 210 copies I left. got a show coming up in L.A. I'm a, hey, I'm going to be out there. You'll get rid of the last of them yeah, there. Yeah, man. Unless you're coming to Buffalo this week with me. What's up? Come to Buffalo, nigga. I'm coming to Buffalo, yeah. nigga. Yeah. It's cold yeah. as fucking Buffalo. No, though. it's not going to be that bad. It's going to be good? in the 40s. I think we should go on to Buffalo. New York. Buffalo, Kansas City the week after that? Yeah, man. I'm Kansas down. City, you know I love Kansas City. Them motherfuckers, they, they fuck with me they in Kansas with City. Yeah. Well, maybe Kansas City, they got that barbecue. Yeah. I am ZoeWilliams.com is the website. Click shop. If you order tonight, I will mail it out tomorrow. Also, Dash Radio tomorrow night, 5 to 7 p.m., Hot Button Radio. Please continue to support the movement. That's what's up, man. Hey, much love to all y'all who fuck with us. 5150, we up out this bitch. Because I'm about to go to yo bitch crib and chill out. Hey, Frank, what up? Yo. Oh, Rambo Mar. Hold on, Frank. Y. Let me get this verse. Let me get, get this, this verse. Jacket, no, I don't shirt. even need the music. I'm going go, to I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go instrumental. You ain't got the instrumental, dude. Oh, you got the instrumental? Yep. Lip sync then, Corey. <laughs> no, I'm about to come with a verse, nigga. Yo, bitch crib chilling out. I'm at your bitch crib chilling out. And it ain't no doubt, my thing in her mouth is hot, so we outside where your neighbors can see. Yeah, motherfucker, it's your boy Corey. I'm fucking his bitch while he at work. He married her, so he a jerk. I'm motherfucking 5150 star. This bitch eating my dick like a candy bar. Except it's hard, like it's in the freezer. That's bizarre. Corey Holcomb in this bitch. <laughs> Yo ass is a trick. Zo outfit is the shit. I'm at your bitch crib getting lit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo bitch crib chilling out. Yeah. Yo bitch crib chilling out. 5150, we about this bitch. Yo bitch crib chilling out. Take us out, Frank. Yo bitch crib chilling out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to try to beat right there, boy. <laughs>